Blockshoots has 16 legendary swords in the game. I myself went onto an adventure to master every single sword in the game. And with that, obviously, I mastered every single legendary sword. So in this video, you guys will see me mastering every single legendary sword in the entire game. This was a hard challenge. Some swords require puzzles, some don't. I'll grab some popcorn, like the video, and it all started over here. Alright guys, you can see we're back in C1, and there's a special reason that we're back in C1. In today's video, we're mastering a legendary sword, alright? It is the Bisanto sword, okay? I don't know, wait, Bisanto, Bisanto, I don't know, man. J just tell me how you guys see it, because I have absolutely no idea how to say it, alright? Bisanto, Bisanto, yeah, whatever. Could not care less, to be honest, but in today's video, you were getting this sword, because you guys have been telling me that this sword is actually overpowered. And if you guys have ever wanted to become a Whitebeard in block shoots, now, this is the time to do so, right? We're gonna be unlocking Bisanto V2 and become in Whitebeard, okay? Now, wait, I thought Star was right over here. Ah, uh, there you are. What, what you looking at? What's on the map, man? What's on the menu? I, I don't know. But as you guys can see, Star over here has Bisanto V2, I think. Yeah, so this sword is actually overpowered in C1, all right? Like, even compared to the Rengoku sword. Obviously, Rengoku is super insane. Now, they say the Bisanto sword is super good because there's an upgrade that increases your damage by a lot. Now, Star, where do you get this Bisanto sword? Because I really want one, okay? And I want to make it V2, all right? I want to become OP. And look Looks pretty insane. Let's go to Skylands. All right, bad. Let's see. Okay, wait. Uh, for to Sky. Wait, monkey, stop attacking me. Ah, there you go. Okay, we're at Skylands right now. And what do we do here? What's oh, right here? Let's see. Oh, Master Sword Dealer. Okay, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I see. Bisanto. Okay, so we got a dual headed blade and a Bisanto. Okay, let's see. And the true power cannot be described. One million belly? Bro, what? One million? That's actually insane. What the heck? Okay, uh, for a C1 per what like what? How is that even possible? Does a normal C1 player have one million belly like laying around? Like what the okay, let's go and purchase it. Okay, no, no biggie though. No biggie. Okay, there you guys go. Bisento for one million. And let's go over here and enable this Bisento. Oh, it's a legendary sword. Okay. And as you can see, we got it. And it looks so good. What the heck? Wait a minute. Why do you have it the different way? How do you bro? How do I equip it like yours? Bro, what? I can't tell you it's a secret, brah. What? Just tell me or take this blade, right? Oh, 1.9k damage. Wait a minute. I don't know if that's any good, right? Wait, let me enable hockey. Let me enable hockey. And now... 2.2k. All right, that's not even that bad, to be honest. But guys, there's an upgrade to the sword that makes this even 10 times better. Well, 10 times, it, it makes a lot of times better, right? So I went into the Blockshoots wiki right here because I want to show you guys something, right? If we go over here at the Basanto sword all the way down, right? And you guys go to upgrading. Look at that. The effects of upgrading is 25% plus damage. Bro, that is actually insane. But guys, we need materials, okay? So we need scrap metal, it looks like. We need some kind of wings and some magma ores. All right, 15, 12, and 10. Do I not have that? Okay, let's see. Wait, let me go to my items. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, uh, we got the wings. Okay, we got the wings. 70. We got the scrap metal. We got as well. 99. Okay, and we got magma ore 7. Wait, I don't have enough magma ores. Okay, we, we need three more. Where I got magma ores again? Um, at full okay, no. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, the magma did a lot of damage. What the? How much damage is- Yo, what the- Bro, I guess C1 Lava is nothing different. Right, so I get Magma Ores from these NPCs right here. Let's see. I guess, right? Wait, do you not die? Bro, what? Yo, what? How are you not dying? Bro, wait, what is happening? Uh, what if I try- Yo, how do you do that? Bro, how can you walk on Magma? What the heck? All right, what if I equip Magma over here? Let's see. I equip Magma. What if I- Oh, yeah, I can walk on magma. The leopards can also walk on magma? Like, what? Doesn't make sense, to be honest. All right, now we kill a bunch of these NPCs and just hope for magma ores, right? So right here's one. Come on, give me a magma ore already. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Bro, none of these guys are dropping magma ores. Are these even the right NPCs? Like, I'm not getting anything. Or is it just that rare? Bro, give it already, you stupid soldier. Man, I need it. Come on now. Oh, I got it. I got it. Magma ore one time. Okay, two more to go. That took a lot of NPCs, right? What? Oh, I got one back to back. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, okay? I got like 20 of these and now back to back. And the last one. Let's go. Magma ore. And now we should have enough, right? 10, 7. Yeah, this is enough, right? Okay, so now we need to go to the nearest blacksmith. Where is that again? Where are you taking me? Pirate village? Is there a blacksmith? Wait a minute. Oh, I think I remember. Wait, is it like somewhere? No, that's a rich man. I think it's somewhere over here, right? Oh, there you go. A black Blacksmith. Okay, let's see. Right, I want to upgrade my Bisanto V2, all right? Or Bisanto, okay? All right, there you go. We got enough scrap, enough wings, and enough magma ores, all right? And now we get 25% damage. But before we upgrade, let's go and check the damage, right? With hockey on, 2.23k. And then without hockey on, it's 1.9k, all right? Now we're going to right over here and upgrade our Bisanto legendary sword, okay? 
10 plus damage, okay? Craft, and there he is, go. Upgraded weapon to grade one. And we can upgrade it again, okay? So now, uh, let's see how much damage we're dealing, okay? 2.8k, what? We went from 2.2k to 2.8k, bro, what? A C1 sword that's dealing 2.8k damage in one hit, and it's not even V2 version yet. Okay, this must be one of the best C1 swords. What the hell? But guys, to become the ultimate white bear, we needed a code, right? And I don't really have a code right now. At least not the white bear code. And the only code that looks like the white bear code is going to be the Vice Admiral at Marine Fortress. Now, let's see. Is this guy over here? Let's see. Yeah, there he is, okay? And he got that nice looking code. Hey, let me grab that off you, okay? I need to slash you up and... Ooh, wait, what was that? Bro, I only got like 10 mastery levels. What is that? Bro, that was so low. How are people farming in the first C to unlock any ability? That is insane. But guys, I noticed something. When I slashed my sword... This happened. Wait, what? Guys, we literally got a quake ability in Basanto, okay? So it's like, uh, yeah, it's like a quake, right? Look at that. Bro, that is insane. Wait a minute, who's this guy? Advanced weapon dealer. Have I ever seen you? Oh, he just sells cannons and stuff like that. We are not interested in that. What we are interested in is getting that little code from you, little guy, right? Let me get you there. Oh, uh, we got a code, all right. Second kill, it's a 10% chance. So we already got it. And we got a new skill available, which is the Windbreaker, okay? We gotta test that out. And we got the code, guys. We're kind of looking like White Bear already, all right? Look at that. Looks pretty sleek, all right? I got the drip. Do you even got the code, huh, Star? I don't think you got the code, all right? I don't think you got that drip, bro. That's what I thought, right? Now come here and I want to test this ability, right? Bro, what is that? That is not even our white bird code, right? Mine is way drippier. I guess let's go and test this first ability, Windbreaker. Let's see how much damage we can do, right? Three, two, one. Oh, whoa, 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 3.8k for a C1 sword. Bro, this makes no sense, but I like it, all right? It's like a bunch of slashes. Oh, uh, this reminds me of the spider fruit. It kind of has the same ability. But now, guys, we need to unlock the next ability, Quake Sphere, all right? That one is 150 mastery. How am I going to get this in C1? And then after that, the biggest problem awaits us. Getting V2 Bicento, right? That is going to be the hardest part. But I'll get back to that, all right? All right, guys, White Bird versus Thunder God. Let's see who's going to win. Hey, take some of this, buddy. Hey, take some of that take some of this okay this is kind of not fair because i do a lot more damage with my stats all right but i have no problem with that okay take some of that take some of my powers all right and a boom you are dead but wait that only gave me like 20 mastery bro what is this sword man we need to kill like a bunch of bosses right oh yo start trying to kill me or something bro oh, never mind we gotta go to this magma boss which is the magma admiral right hey take some of this buddy i don't think you're stronger than me i probably shouldn't use instinct v2 because that's kind of ahead of the line and there you go wait i give me four mastery wait are you kidding me? What is that? Now we're at Fountain. Oh, here's the boss, right? Pretty sure it's this way. And there you go. The cyborg boss. Hey, take some of this, buddy. You're going to die today, right? Take my quake ability. Hey, yo. Did he just fart? What the heck? All right, buddy. That's it. That's it. You're done with. You're done with, okay? Take some of that. I'm about to die, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, let's go. Okay. Mastery 77 up to 90, bruh. Okay, okay. I think we need to go to the second C soon. Because I don't think we can get 150 mastery with C1 bosses, sadly. Wait a minute. The saw has spawned. Let's see. Can I one-shot him? Let's see. One, two, three. That's a three shot. That only gave me two masteries, so literally doo-doo. All right, we have to get out of here now. Hey, yo, I got messed up, bro. They messed me up. What is going on? We got to the second C, and then I randomly changed to a noob, bro. What? Why the heck is this happening? Wait, wait, let me reset. Let me reset. Bro, don't make fun of me. What the heck? Bro, I'm still new. What the heck? Yo, get me out of here. Get me out of here. How do I fix this? I need to regen a game or something? Like, what? Bro, block street. Are you kidding me? What is this stuff, man? All right, guys, that's much better. But now we gotta go up this mountain because there's a boss that awaits us, all right? You guys already know, okay? You guys already know we gotta kill Jeremy, all right? Or what's his name? Yeah, Jeremy. This guy has no chance, bro. I'm literally one-shotting him like crazy. Hey, yo. Shut down there, buddy. Hey, you're gonna die anyway. You better give me enough mastery, okay? You better give me enough. Let's see. 93. Oh, wait. That gave me... Also very low. What the heck? Yo, how are you guys mastering this stuff in C2 and C1? What the heck? I know a little fella that's waiting over here. Hey, what's up, Swan? I'm about to take your mastery away from me, okay? I don't think you deserve it. I am much stronger than you. Yeah, you can use that, but I'm gonna literally beat you up, all right? All right, buddy, take my windbreaker over here. A boom. Hey. hey, you healing up doesn't work, all right? Whoa, that is dealing a lot of damage, all right? Let's see. Let's get a ability on him. Come on. Die. Hey, let's go. And we got up to 137. Okay, that gave me a lot of mastery, but still not enough. 
off somehow. All right, this should be the last boss I'm fighting, all right? Come here, diamond, okay? Get you over here. There you go. Take my Besanto powers, all right? You're about to die. Why do I feel like I'm getting zero mastery fighting these bosses, all right? I feel like C3 is the only place you can master. Look at that. Only five mastery? What the heck? All right, let's go to another boss. I know a boss that can fight. What's up, Mr. Smoke Admiral? Let me beat you up over here. Hey, yo, hey, yo. I can't see anything. What the heck? Dude, you can only smoke my screen and then... Bro, bro, bro. This guy is scared, man. Come here, buddy. You are nothing. You're a nobody. Give me your mastery already, all right? That is all I came here for. So, hey, come here, buddy. Hey, let's go. New skill available. We got it. Now we gotta test this thing. Quake Sphere. But guys, it's not over. We still gotta get V2 after this, all right? But let's go and test Quake Sphere, all right? Let's see. Three, two, one, and boom. Oh my, yo, 4.3k damage, that is insane. Wait, you said you can't move away, let's go and try that again, let's see. Oh, you can move out of it. Or what if you see someone AFK and you just do like this and this? Oh my, bro, 7k? Yo, my right, Bicento V2, here I come, all right? I need to upgrade this sword one more time. Unlock the true potentials. So guys, for me to obtain version two of Bicento, there's a special boss that we have to kill, which is Greybeard. And he spawns at Marine Fortress. And all we have to do is have Bicento in my inventory and kill this guy to upgrade our Bicento. Sounds easy so far. Let's see, Greybeard spawns every six uh, uh, hours uh, or four hours. What? Every six hours or four hours if the server is new and he is respawning for the first time? You are telling me I have to wait for four hours in C1 for him to spawn and then we kill him and then we upgrade to V2? Oh my bro. All right, guys. See you guys in four hours, I, I guess. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours. I'm pretty sure exactly four hours, all right? And the boss is about to spawn. Now, where does he spawn? Does he just spawn over here or does he spawn somewhere else? Because I don't see an area where a boss would spawn, right? Like, it, it should be that, right? This is gonna be my first time killing Greybird, all right? I'm excited, right? I've actually never seen this boss. Now, let's check how much damage the quick ability does, all right? Let's see, right? Boom. 2.5 thousand for an extra ability on the sword. That is insane. Little did I know here that Greybeard was not even close to spawning. I was waiting for no reason here and I gave up waiting. So I just went AFK and, and hopefully he spawned at a six hour mark as it says on the wiki. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't spawn as it says when there's a new server he should spawn after the first four hours but he didn't. So I decided to wait six hours. A few minutes later. Alright guys it's officially been six hours. Yes it's been six Six hours. Star is already asleep, and to my calculations, if this boss spawns every six hours, then he should spawn right about now. Now, if he doesn't, I just wasted six hours, so yeah, he better spawn now. Oh my god, loud tremors are being heard across the seas. Wait a minute, where's this boss? Wait, wait, yo, yo, he spawned? Where is he? Where is he? Wait, uh, oh, yo, great beard. Oh my god, he's actually here. I can't believe it. Yo. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, I am taking your spot, buddy. Oh, yo, he does a lot of damage. Hold on a minute. The only thing I have to do is just kill you with the Besanto, right? Oh, my God. It's been six hours. I waited so long. Take some of this, buddy. Take some of this, buddy. We don't even have to kill him. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, we don't even have to kill him with Besanto, but I do need to kill him, man. I'm solo, all right? Star's already gone, so we need to kill this guy. I'm solo dolo, all right? We need to kill this guy. And this guy is tanky. What the heck? Oh, no, the tsunami waves. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to escape. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, they weren't that big, to be honest. So let's go and keep slashing him, slashing him. There you go. Hey, buddy. You're literally dead, all right? Don't think you can escape me. I've waited so long. You have to die now. And I have to unlock B Santo V2, all right? So take this and take this, all right? Die. All right, come here, buddy. Hey, take my sword over here. Here we go. Bro, he's literally more tankier than Longma. I'm not even joking, all right? This guy is tankier than most C3 bosses. How do people even defeat this guy? Oh my god, he's doing a lot of damage as well. Bro, 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 bro. chill. All right, Greybeard, it's your time to die, all right? You don't have a place in here. I've waited six hours not to just die, all right? E all right, he's one HP, okay? One last hit and you're dead, all right? And he last towards white beard well i don't think so right take some of this and you're dead something weird has happened to your besanto oh my god bro finally i've been waiting for so long all right i've been waiting for so long all right guys it's official we have upgraded to version 2 but what actually changed i don't know it's so the first ability was like a few slashes let's see oh oh my oh my god wait, that's way different hold on wait what's the second ability hold on let's see it's way bigger and does more damage. Way, that's insane. But to be even more OP, we need to enable this warrior helmet, which gives 12% extra sword damage. Now let's see how much damage this does, right? 
3001 shot, bro. That is insane. And we have some sick abilities to train with. Oh my god, this is insane. Besanto is not only a C1 sword, all right? It is an insane overpowered sword. At least I didn't waste six hours, all right? You already know, okay? We are mastering swords. And in today, I mean, you you read the title, Tom, okay? Today, we're gonna be mastering one of the swords that is used by the red haired pirate, okay? Which is Shanks, all right? We're gonna be using Saber V2. Now, first, we need to get Saber V2. And also, I wanna tell you guys how you can even get Saber. I mean, if you are on C3, then you probably know how to get it, okay? I get it. But for C1 people, you might even not know how to get it because it's a whole puzzle to actually get it. So, yes, we're gonna be getting that in today's video. And so, are you ready? Because we need to roll fruit first, okay? I hope my timer's up. I'm not really sure, though. Let's see. Because I'm not sure if I roll the fruit. Let's see. Okay, come on, come on, come on, please. Come on. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Smoke fruit though. Oh, what is that? Oh, I always get such a bad fruit. Okay, here, here. Start. Take it. It's a present for you. Okay. Gift for you. Okay. <laughs> he got a sand fruit, bro. That is so bad. We're unlucky today. Okay. This is so bad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I I'm pretty sure I can't even store these. Let's see. Can I even store them? Like, uh, I guess I can use some extra fruits. There you go. One. And no, this one I can't. Okay. Smoke fruit. Do the smoke fruit, bro. Always. So yes, we're going to be unlocking Saber V2. Now, I already have it in my hand, but I do want to show you guys how to get it. Okay, because it's a whole puzzle. So first we have to go to the first C because the obtainment is in the first C and we're gonna be there right now. Okay, three, two, one, boom. As you can see, we're in the first C and I'm gonna be unlocking Saber because this account doesn't have this. Okay, and this account apparently has 81 belly. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to purchase anything. I hope this obtainment doesn't cost anybody. Okay, but first we need to go to the jungle. Okay, so wait, 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 Star can take me there. Wait, Star take me there. Oh, never mind. This is our save zone. Okay, hold on. I can't even teleport out of the save zone. Okay, we're gonna go to the jungle first because everything starts at the jungle okay we're literally on the monkey island guys look at this the monkeys bro can i even watch oh i can't watch it okay this account is good okay let's go i need a level 340 what okay uh so first guys we have to find four of these pressure plates on or like i don't know if it's four we gotta find these pressure plates on these trees okay i don't know where these are let's see wait star help me out bro uh, you've done this before okay i did it for a long time ago i don't know where this thing is did you find one did you find one? Oh, oh okay one is right here oh that was sneaky bro i didn't even see it okay wait isn't there on like trees and stuff like that? I can't see anything on the trees. What? Oh, bro. Did that tree just spawn it? Okay, never mind. I don't even care. Okay, where's the, where's the pressure plates? Hold on, where is it? Oh, there's literally one right over here. Okay, let's go and press it. Wait, I already got it. Okay, so this is the basic one. This is always pressed, but there's a few more to get, okay? I'm pretty sure there was a tree right here with one. Let's see. Is there like a button on this? Maybe here? Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, there you go. Another one. That's three. And I'm pretty sure on the other island there was one. Uh, I'm not sure about this one though. Let's see. There was, I'm pretty sure, one on here. Maybe on the left side where the balls doesn't spawn, right? Oh, right here. Easy. Okay, there you go. Another one. Come on. Touch that. Okay easy we got him and now i'm pretty sure there's one more at the end wait star did you find one uh is it is it right over here let's see oh yeah it's right over here okay uh, stone bricks okay there you go and that's all of them now we have to go back okay because we gotta continue our mission okay, guys apparently we gotta go over here let's see so apparently the boss spawns over here but we can't access that yet so we have to go to the middle right over here and go downstairs right so okay wait this is open right oh what is this okay so now we're here in this like orch area, land of sand. My home does not stand or does stand. Now dark and grim, bring light within. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means, but let's go and take the torch. I'm pretty sure we, wait. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. now we gotta get out, now we gotta get out because we gotta go to the next location, which is desert, guys. So in desert, we have a secret house that has like this like torch thing or something. So I'm pretty sure, isn't it this house? I'm pretty sure this is the only, yeah, it's the only house in sand. Let's see, is it the door? Oh, okay. Greetings, okay, and now we have to go all the way down and then there's like this hay stuff over here And then we have to like light it on fire. There you go burn. Okay burn. Can we wait? It's gonna open or uh, oh, it's open. Okay, there you go If power you seek fill the cup from a leak left alone in the cold is a story to be told Okay, okay. oh there, there's a cup. Okay, there you go easy. We got a cup. Okay, okay, wait, but it's not filled What they scammed me let me grab the other one. Okay, wait, where do I go now? Oh, I already know. Okay, start teleport me to snow Okay, and there we go. Okay, and as you can see there's like water drops falling from this ice thingy like um if I stand right below Oh, there we go. It filled up. It filled up. Okay now um, What do we do now? Okay, now we gotta take this cup and go to a sick man above us Okay, so apparently there's a sick man that needs this cup. All right, so climb up this thing There you go and apparently in one of these houses. I remember this one. Okay, it's yeah, it's this one. There you go. Sick man. Please take my medicine, okay? 
get better, please. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much. Please meet up with my son. I'm sure he will reward you. Okay, and now apparently we gotta go to Pirate Village. Okay, there we go. Pirate Village and... Wait, is this a guy? Rich man? There's no way this is his son, right? Because it was a sick man. Wait, it was a sick man with like a poor house. Wait, is this his son? Let's see. Come on, rich man. Da, 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 talk. Thanks for robbing my fa- Oh, it is him. But a mob leader has stolen all my money. Please find and take him down as soon as possible. So I can reward you. Okay, so I gotta go to a mob leader? Like, what? I got you? Wait, you know where this star? Okay, hey, take me there, take me there. Wait, is that the island? What, what is that? I oh, that's a secret island. Okay, wait, wait. That's this island where there's like nothing in it, right? Wait, wait. Mob leader? What the heck? Okay, let me beat you up, buddy. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, he's strong, he's strong, he's strong, he's strong, he's strong. There's no points on. Okay, melee. Bro, 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 I have everything on melee. Hold on. Like that? Here we go. Boom. Come on. Okay. Come on. Most. Oh, 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 wait. Come on. Die, bro. Die. Come on. No, 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 no. Almost dead. Almost dead. Come on. One more. Come on. One more. Bro. One more. Oh, but. I died. Die. Okay, come on. He's slow, he's slow, he's slow. Come on. Boom. Okay, there you go. Talk to the rich man. Okay, yeah, yeah. we gotta go back. We gotta go back to help the rich man. You know, we're just gonna go over to the rich man. Let's see. What is he gonna say? Okay, rich man, I got you. I got you, rich man. Thank you for getting my money back. You can keep the ancient relic as your reward. Okay, now we received that ancient relic. And apparently, we can open a secret door now. So go back to the jungle, okay? In the jungle, there's like a secret door. And now we can open it. Okay, yes, with this ankh relic, we gotta go over. Look at this. It is a relic. Okay, look at this. So all we have to do is just push it in like that. And the door opens. But there's nobody here. Okay, there we go. The saber boss, okay? The saber expert. And we need to beat this guy for this. Look at this. He's holding him. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna... Go okay, I'm gonna go one shot. I'm gonna go one shot. No, 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 no. Not like that. Okay, there we go. Bro, he's so OP. He's so OP. Okay, I, I don't know if I can beat him. I don't know if I... Oh. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. A few minutes later. Hey, come on, come on. Oh, okay, there you go. Item drop, saber. Okay, we got a saber sword. And that is how you get it, okay? It's it's a whole puzzle, yes, okay? It's a, it's a whole puzzle. And now we got it, and now we need to get this maxed out and get it to V2 version, okay? Because this sword has a second version of the sword, okay? So, we're gonna go back in the third C, okay? All right, guys, we're back in the main account in the third C, and we're gonna test the damage of the saber, okay? We're gonna enable hockey, let's see. What's the damage, okay? Let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's 50, right? Okay, I gotta reset my stats again. Oh, I already did it today. I guess I gotta do it again. There you go, 2450, um, refund, okay, we got a sword, do that, 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 okay, and now we need to try that, okay, 3, 2, 1, boom, 2,000, okay, yeah, I get. this is a C1 sword, I guess, that's why it's super bad, I mean, 2,000, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, most swords have 2.5k, I think, something like, yeah, something like that, or 2.3k, yeah, but this one is 2 this is one of the lowest damages I've seen, for a legendary sword, guys, we need to unlock the two abilities that's on the sword, okay, Deadly Rush and Triple Slash, okay, it's only 125 mastery, so a few NPCs, all right, let's slash this pirate up, come on, okay, there you go, let's see, come on, give me enough mastery, let's see how much this one, okay, yeah, we already got the first guy, I mean, what can I expect? Okay, 67. I guess we have to kill a boss, right? Well, let's go and test this ability. Deadly rush. Let's see. Okay, three, two, one, and... Oh my... Okay, that... Uh, what the heck? Wait, that is insane. Wait, why was it so insane? Hold on, hold on. Let me hold it in. What a weird pose, okay? Boom. 4.6? What the heck? Why is it so much damage? What's going on? Wait, that is insane. I can't wait till I can see triple slash. Okay, wait, wait. Let's go and kill a boss. Wait, and we can also use it from a range? Okay, so apparently we can, like, do this. Okay, and now it does less. 2.7k, but, like, from closer distance, it does way more. Interesting, interesting. Now we gotta unlock triple slash, and then we're gonna upgrade to V2 version. And I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that. We'll unlock the full powers of the sword, okay? Okay, come on, elephant. You're gonna die, okay? You're gonna die, come on. Deadly slash. Boom. Is that a- Bruh, that's not gonna kill you. Bruh, bruh. Bro, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. Let's see, is that even gonna bring us up to 125 mash? I hope so, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Perfect. 130. And now we're gonna test the second ability, which is triple slash. Let's see. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh my. Wait, that's- Wait, isn't that the Dark Blade ability? And it did 4k damage. Wait, wait. This is insane. For a C1 sword. Okay, let's see from a closer distance. Okay, also 4k, and it knockbacks a little bit, what the heck? Wait, that is pretty cool, to be honest. All right, we're gonna test the Dark Blade Slayer skin versus Saber, um, not V2, actually. Of course, I'm gonna do it, okay? So, there's the same attack, okay? So, we're gonna hold it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's- Oh my god, it's way further, look at that. All right, let's go and try that again, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Look at that, yeah, it's the same thing, but then the Dark Blade is a little bit better. The damage Dark Blade does is, let's see, 5.5k, okay, yeah, that is insane. Now, Saber, let's see, X, 
that's 4,000. Okay, yeah, that's 1.5k less damage than the Dark Blade. But what if we make Saber V2 and upgrade his sword? Will it get close? I don't know, but to get Saber V2, believe it or not, all you have to do have 1 million bounty, which as you can see, we are we both have, okay? And then I have to kill another player with 1 million bounty. And then my saber unlocks new abilities. So all you have to do is, uh, you know, you know, don't mind if I do, okay? Don't, hey, yo, chill. Okay, yo. Yo, don't mind if I do, bro. I need I need that saber V2, bro. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Where you at? Where you at? Wait, you're invisible? What the heck? What is what 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 are you doing? It's not this. It's not wait. Where you at? Okay, there you go. Boom. Okay, wait. That's so slow. You okay, we got him. We got him. He's one HP. He's one HP. He's one HP. I, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Come on. No, I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Come on, triple stash. Okay, there you go. Okay, easy, 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 easy. I did it. Okay, I killed him, but nothing, nothing, nothing appeared on my screen. Wait, what happened? Wait, nothing happened. Okay, let's see the abilities maybe. Oh, uh, that looks the same. Okay, so I just looked and apparently I already have it V2, okay? So if I go to V2, yeah, these are these are these are my abilities. I don't know why I don't have V1. I've never used this sword in my life. And I've never killed a 1 million bounty person with a saber. Like what? I, I mean, as you can see, these are the V1 abilities, I guess. Like way different. And like the slash, I mean, it's just an upgraded like slash, I guess. So yeah, I apparently had Saber V2. I, I didn't even know. But guys, there's one more thing left to do. If I go over to the blacksmith, we need to upgrade his sword, okay? How much materials do we need? Okay, let's see. Five, okay, we got this, we got that, and we need nine magma ores. Okay, for 15% action, that's gonna be huge. What the heck? Okay, magma ores is first C, so I have to go all the way back. All right, so we have to go to the volcano island, and here we have to find these NPCs to get magma ores, okay? So there's gonna be a bunch of them okay that's one that's two no drop okay that's gonna take a while and that's the last magma ore that means we can go to pirate village and then upgrade our saber v2 to even become stronger right so blacksmith upgrade my sword there you go let's see okay we got everything okay craft and we upgrade our saber now let's see how much damage is dealing now okay i'm pretty sure it was like 2000 or something okay let's see 2.5k, okay, not bad. And then the Z ability, let's see. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Okay, let's see, maybe on this one. Yeah, one point, okay, yeah, it's it's not like showing me the exact damage. All right, let's go and test the damage out, okay, let's see. So we got Star Reader, let's see. Now it's actually gonna show, right? So let's see. Bro, bro, six, what? I just did half of your HP. This is a C1 sword. This is not a C1 sword. What the heck? Bro, what, is, what am I watching? Wait, wait, okay. Let's go and try this one. Okay, this one is 4.6k. That one, that one's worse. But what is this one? Okay, I'm, I'm literally gonna kill you. I'm, I'm literally gonna kill you. You're so low HP already. I've never seen that high damage on a sword. What? This is a C1 sword. Okay, I guess let's go and try it again. Okay, wait. That didn't hit for some reason. Wait, I guess the slashes didn't connect or something. Okay, let's go and try it one more time. From like this distance, let's see. Wait, 5.5k now? Why was it 6.5k the first time? What? Wait, maybe further away. Maybe I need to hit like all my slashers or something. Let's see. Now it's 3k. Wait, what is happening with this? Uh, I don't understand. Wait, let's go try it again from short range like this. So first it does 6k, now it does 4k. Um, Yeah, help me understand. But guys, that was it. Saber V2. Okay, for a C1 sword. What the? Like, this is amazing. This is one of the most overpowered C1 swords I've seen, okay? Besanto, I'm sorry, okay? This is this is better. The True Triple Katana. One of the mythical swords in Blocks Roots. Requires you to get three legendary swords. One of them being the swords that we're getting in today's video. This is my journey of becoming the greatest swordsman out of all of Blocks Roots. And that's why today we're getting one of the legendary swords but first we need to know a few things so the person that sells the legendary swords is called the legendary swords dealer and this guy over here the managers actually tells you when he is coming all right so if i talk to him right now it says it's still too early for you to be here well there is one big problem if somebody buys the sword of the blockster dealer if he spawns the dealer disappears but private servers aren't the best to do it with because the blockster dealer spawns four hours and 15 minutes after the server started. That's a long time. But you guys know me. I like to take the chance most of the times. So I decided to have some friends in public servers to look for this legendary swords dealer. And yeah, so we just waited. All right, guys, my friend is in this server and he told me that he's here. Okay, he's here. He's here. The legendary box reader. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Wait, the first location, the first location. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Colosseum. Okay, Colosseum is first location. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bro, we gotta be fast. Hold on. Uh, pilot helmet. There you go. Bro, bro, I gotta be fast. I gotta be fast. Okay, so apparently, okay, let's see. Portal is gonna help us out. Okay, let's see. Apparently, like, 
Um, he could be inside here. Let's see. I don't see him. Okay, I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here. Okay, let's see. Maybe, maybe here. I don't think he's here. Okay, I don't think he's okay. Let's see. Next location is a dogs. Okay, the dogs. I think dogs two. No, dogs three. No, dogs. Wait, which dogs was it? Okay, with a hole in the ground. With a hole in the ground. Hold on. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay, let's see. Come on. Is he here? He's not here. He's not here. I think he's at green zone. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe at the green zone. Come on. He's usually at the top, like this one. Let's see. Oh, I don't see anything, man. I don't see anything. Hold on. Oh my God, bro. I need to find him. I need to find him. Where is this guy? Come on. I don't see anything. Where is this stupid guy, bro, bro? Do I have to climb all the way up? There's no way, right? Come on. Wait, I see him. Oh my God. Show. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I found him. I found him. I found him. Okay. The sea shoe. Okay, let's go. Okay. The, or whatever that's called. Okay. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Two million purchase. Oh my God. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Swordsman. Let's go. We got a sea shoe sword obtained in the server, bro. It took me like an hour at least. Okay. An hour or two. Okay. That was crazy though. Okay. But we finally got it. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Where's the sushi shoe sword? Okay. Let's see. The sushi or whatever, man. Let's see. And there it is. Okay. The sea. Wait. She sui. Sui, yeah, Sui, okay, like Ronaldo, okay, let's see, let's equip that one, oh, look at that, that looks sick, though, oh, yo, check that out, we got a Sishui sword, okay, finally, okay, and now all we need to do is master this thing up, and then we're one of the, one third of becoming the best swordsman alive, right, we still need two more legendary swords, okay, the Sishui is one of them, and then we got a Wando or something, and another one, okay, so, yeah, this is gonna be the first one, and the first ability is True Quiet Rush, and the second one is Focus Shot, okay, all right, guys, now it's time to become the ultimate swordsman, okay? One of the triple swords we're gonna be mastering in today's video, which you guys know, okay? We just unlocked it, and it's the Shi Sui, okay? So, wait, why is it Sui? I, I don't even know. Like, what am I doing with Sui here, okay? But, hey, Star, are you ready, okay? We're gonna be becoming the ultimate swords master in this video. Well, kind of, okay? One third of it, okay? We have one of the three legendary swords that you can get in the sea, which I get from this manager, okay? This manager tells me where the blocks dealer is, or the swords dealer, and then I can actually get this legendary sword. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Wait, is that the... Wait, which sword is that? Is that also from the legendary swords dealer? Wait, you already got one? What the heck? It is the Wando. Oh, that's the other one I have to achieve. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Oh, wait. We're breaching the factory and a block should have spawned. What the heck? What just happened? A block should and a factory restarted. Okay, that's insane. Wait, the Wando. Okay, I want to get this one the next time. Okay, okay. You have to get this one. Okay, it's good. Nice. I only have this su su sushi... Uh, sh You're you what you can you do you wait yeah whatever it's called the sui sword but let's go and get the factory because the factory is getting breached and we need that free fruit okay give me like a leopard or something so let's do some damage and let's get this free fruit all right come on less damage and we we got a spike fruit uh that's bad who the heck wants a spike fruit okay let me drop that there but, all right start we need to roll fruit okay so let's go over here and let's roll fruit because maybe today is also our lucky day okay before we master this sui sword okay let's roll fruit come on and we got a light fruit okay a light fruit not hey, you got a light fruit as well no way what is this bro did we just dupe fruits what's going on over here okay why did you get the same fruit as me what the heck what's going on over here but we also didn't get the fruit uh detected so let's go and get that one as well did we roll at the same time exactly is that is that why wait no shot it's because of the same time rolling right nah no way right okay wait, wait, wait. graveyard maybe it's not at a graveyard where is this fruit oh i already know where we did that multiple times huh ah, you're right actually the last time that i like rolled at the same time Time, we did get the same fruit. We're getting the same fruits really often, okay? I don't know what's going on, okay? But wait, is it skull maybe? Yes, it is skull, okay? And I'm pretty sure it's right over here, okay? I know the spawn location. It's like right up this rock, and what is it? It's a, a, a floating kilo fruit, guys. It's a floating kilo fruit. Wow, look at that. Why do fruits float in this exact spawn location every single time? Bro, the developers are trolling us, I'm telling you. And we have to throw it in the ocean because, yeah, yeah, we don't want no bad luck, okay? Uh, oh. Oh, guys, what the heck? Ah, uh, the kilo, go, bro, bro, what's, what is happening? What the, okay. Now you're gone. What the heck? Okay, that kilo fruit is cursed. Anyway, start. We're already here, okay? So let's go over here to the skull boss to start mastering, okay? Because I'm pretty sure all the bosses are here. And guys, I did recently unlock Cyborg, which is actually pretty good. Look at this energy core. I have way more defense. So what's up, Tithe Keeper? Take some of this, buddy. Yeah, take some of that. Take some of this. You're gonna be dead in a second, okay? Let me use my Sui sword, okay? Take some of this. There you go. Oh, we didn't even test the damage, though, okay? We should test that later on. But first, let's get this boss down. Come on, Tide Keeper. You are no chance for us, okay? Take some of this cyborg ability, and you're going to be dead. Oh, no. He spawned a sea beast, okay? We need to kill him fast, okay? 
Come on. Die! Okay, there you go. He's dead, he's dead. How much mastery are we gonna get? And we need to escape the sea beast. All right, see, it's still counting up. It's still counting up. I'm getting attacked by a sea beast. Bro, can you stop? Okay, there you go. 120 mastery we got, okay? And we're almost at true quiet rush, which is the first ability we need to get. Wait a minute. Let's go and take a visit on the winter castle. Because I don't usually fight you, okay? I don't usually fight you, awakened ice emerald, but I need some mastery today, so take some of that. Take some of my cyborg skill because I locked it and I want to test it out, all right? It does a little bit of damage and I didn't get free. Is there? What the heck? That was weird, okay? And die. And we got all the way up to mastery 146. So one more boss and we'll have it. Okay, C2 boss is clutching up. I'm pretty sure the smoke admiral over here gives us an off, okay? Yes, okay, let's go and slice him up. Okay, no, I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Okay, there you go. And all we have to do is slash him up and new skill available, okay? And that's how we unlocked the true quiet rush. And after that, we have to get 300 mastery for focus shot, okay? Let's test the slash damage, right? Let's see. Why is it? Okay, there we go. 2.6 thousand. Um, not too shabby, I guess. Okay, but now let's go and try the first ability. Okay, true quiet rush. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and. What the heck? Okay, I, I didn't even see what happened. I, I literally didn't even see what happened. All right, once again, once again, I'm gonna have to zoom out like that. What happens? Was so I just slash through you and do for like 4k damage like that? Not too bad. But I know a better way of getting more damage, all right? All we have to do is go to dogs too to go to the blacksmith. Because as you know, we're always upgrading our sword. So right now, let's go to this blacksmith and we need... Okay, so we have the leather, but we need some purple droplets or something. What is this? And why do I have zero of these? Okay, zero out of eight. That shouldn't be too hard to get, right? Where do you even get these things? Okay, I have no idea. We have just been there? What do you mean? Skull Island? Is that where you get them? Yes. Oh, let's go back then. Okay, let's see. Skull Island. Wait, that's actually perfect. We're gonna see where the things drop. So I'm guessing these water fighters over here? Let's see. Okay, uh, yeah, this guy didn't drop anything. And there you go, Mystic Droplet. That's the last one, I'm pretty sure. Let's see... Eight. Okay, there you go, Mystic Droplet, eight of them. It took me quite a bit, but we got it. Now, all we have to do is go to the Blacksmith. And Blacksmith, please, upgrade my sword, okay? Make it stronger. Make it the best you can, okay? 10% extra damage, craft. There you go, upgrade the weapon. And now, let's see this bad boy, okay? Where's Star at? All right, since we upgrade our sword, I want to know the damage, right? So, let's see, one slash is 2.7k. Wasn't it like 2.6k before? Um, yeah. And now the ability, let's see... Ooh, 4.3k, not too bad. I like this sword, actually. I like the abilities. So, this one, let's see. One more time. Oh, wait, 2.9k now. What the heck? I guess it does 2.9k. That's pretty insane already. And we still have to get one more ability, which is a focus shot, right? So, we have to go to the third C. Let's go. Bro, I just joined the third C and, bro, they did me dirty again. Like, what is this? Block shoots, fix this. Why am I a noob? Why am I a noob? What is going on? Like, bro, what is this, man? All right, that's much better. Okay, now we have to get this mastery all the way up to 300. So, we gotta take a visit at... Oh, you already know we're going to, okay? We have to take a visit to this skeleton guy, okay? Mr. Longmouth. Now, what we have to do is slash and dash you up, right? So, take some of this. 4.5k damage. Bro, I'm doing more damage to bosses? Like, what? That's pretty good, all right? Let's go and do that. There we go. Okay, no, no, no. Take some of this. Take some of that. There we go. Wait. Bro, bro is flinging around like, what is bro doing? All right, take some of this and you're gonna be dead, okay? You're gonna be... One more slash, come on. One more slash. Two more, there you go, and we got it. Okay, let's see, 200... Ah, uh, what the heck? 250 mastery only? All right, we have to visit another boss. So you guys already know who it is, all right? And that is K-Queen, all right? There you go, K-Queen. What's up, K-Queen, okay? Time to get sliced up, all right? So take some of this. There you go. 4k damage, easy. Take some of my cyborg. And I'm even transforming to Buddha, so you're gonna be dead even faster, okay? I can barely see anything, but it's gonna be all right. All right, you're almost dead. You're literally 1 HP. Take some of this, take some of that. Come on. One more hit, and you're literally dead, all right? You're literally dead, okay? 264? I don't know about that one, guys. Okay, we need 36 more. Okay, I guess so. I mean, to be fair, 360 mastery isn't even that bad. All right, gay queen, you're 1 HP. Come here, come here. Yeah, come here. Take some of that, and you're dead, okay? Take some of that Sui sword, and you're literally dead, okay? 22 mastery to go. And we'll unlock the greatest power of the greatest swordsman, okay? All right, big one's 1 HP, and I have only 10 more mastery to go. So this is probably gonna be the last one. Take some of this, and you're literally dead. And there you go. New skull available. Oh my god, let's go. I didn't even think that was gonna be enough. But we did. And now let's go and try this focus shot ability, okay? I kinda like this Sui sword, okay? Or she Sui, okay? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys let me know, okay? And I'm excited about the other three swords we're gonna be getting, okay? Because this is one of the three swords we'll have to get for the true triple katana. And let's go and test its last ability. Its best ability. So, here we go, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. 
What the? What was that? That was like a beam I sent or something? Like, almost like a, I guess, I, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, let's go and try the first one again. Let's see how much damage does this do. 4.4k, all right, all right. I just dash and slash through him and then focus. What was that? Hold on. So I hold it and I release it. Okay, so it's like a slash 4.7k though. That's pretty good. Not bad for a sword. Okay, he's already low by doing a few abilities. Okay, yeah, I like this one. I like this one. But probably next up, guys, we're gonna be unlocking the wand, okay? This sword in his hands, okay? So guys, the sushi sword was pretty good, okay? But we'll see if we get a better one, okay? And I'm continuing my journey to become the greatest swordsman alive. So that's why today we're obtaining another legendary sword. In the second seer, right? And this sword is an obtainment for the true triple katana. Now, I'm not really sure which one is gonna be yet, because obviously, it's random. You don't really know what you're gonna get, but in the last video of obtaining the legendary triple sword, we got the Shisui sword, okay? Or the or the Shisui, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's C Okay, yeah. It's something like that, okay? Now, look at this thing, okay? It's all purple and stuff. I, I love this sword, okay? And the abilities, bro, they're just immaculate, okay? So, that's why in today's video, we're gonna be obtaining another one of them. Yes, yeah, so we have to find the legendary sword dealer again and try to get another one of these legendaries. And the only two we have left to get is the Sadi sword and the Wando. And just take a look at these abilities, okay? Look at this. Boom, we slash through him. And we send like a crazy slash, okay? I love the Shisui, okay? And this is a super high damage sword. Some of you guys said that this is even better than the true triple katana, which, I mean, we'll find out, okay? Anyway, guys, now it's time for me to go to like public servers to actually go ahead and find this um swords dealer, all right? So I'll be right with you guys. Okay, the swords dealer is in this server right now, okay? I, I need to hurry, I need to hurry. My friend said it's in the server, okay? Let's see, where is this guy? One spawn location was over here, let's check. Okay, we need to scan everything. Come on, come on, come on. Not here, okay, yeah. Bro, I gotta be quick, okay? I don't know where, okay, um, where's, uh, I forgot, okay, duck, duck one, maybe? Uh, I don't see him, okay, he's not here, I guess. You guys remember, last time when we got the Shisui, like, um, it was at green zone. Maybe it's again at green zone, I don't know, to be honest, okay, let's jump, come on, is it here? No. Oh, I see him, 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 okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't be the same, we can get the same thing, please don't be the same, come on. No. Oh my god, no, it's the same, man. We already got this Shisui, no. Bro, that's so sad. I already got it. Like, oh my god, no. That's the one we did yesterday. Like, now I gotta wait to our next one. Like, I waited like an hour for this, man. I'm so unlucky, I'm so unlucky, bro. Okay, yes, I just joined the server and he's right away, okay? Let's see, where he, where could he be, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure, wait, what are, what are the spawn locations? I'm I'm lost, okay? Wait, wait, I have like 10 minutes to find him. Or maybe even less, okay, wait, wait, we need to be fast, okay? Uh, portal, where's portal, bro? I need portal. Okay, first we should check Colosseum, right? Yeah, Colosseum, there you go. Alright, so Colosseum has one spawn, which is right... Wait, is this the right play, place to check? I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, so he's not here, okay? Wait, where could he be? Um, green zone is a place. Where is this guy? Wait, wait, wait. wait the dogs, right? The dogs, okay, hold on. Uh, dogs one? Uh, let's see, is he here? I don't think he... Okay, I I don't think he's here, so I think we should check green zone, then graveyard, so I guess we can go graveyard first, I, I don't know, yeah, let's go graveyard, graveyard, there you go, and he should be like in the middle pillar or something, I've never seen him here, so it's gonna be kinda hot, wait, that's not him, no, that's not him, okay, oh, bro, I gotta find him, okay, then Usopp's island, let's see, that's a uh, remote, like this one, this one, come on, please be here, wait, Oh, uh, he's not here. He should be in this house, bro. He's also not- Okay, I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope. Okay, guys, one of our last chance. I don't know where- I don't know if it's gonna be okay. I don't know if it's gonna be in the middle plant, I'm pretty sure. Like that, okay. Let's climb all the way up. He should be, like, somewhere around here. I, I don't know, to be honest. Let's climb all the way up, and he should be, like, one of these leaves, maybe? I don't know. Wait, is that him? Wait, is that him? Is that him? Wait, wait. Why is there somebody- Oh, no, that's a player. That's a player. Why is there a player just randomly on the leaves? What is going on? Guys, I don't see anything, man. I even went all the way up and I don't see okay yeah it's GG guys it's GG I don't I don't know where to look like bro the last spawn location is like right behind that rock if he's there then oh my god please be here please be here come on please 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 Ma, where is this guy? He's not here. Oh my god, guys, guys, I found him, I found him, I found him. Okay, so he's in the entrance. Oh my god, I gotta buy him fast. Come on, please. Legendary resource here. What, what do you got? What do you got? Wendo. Okay, we got a Wendo. Purchase. Easy. Oh my god, I almost thought I'm not gonna find him. Bro, that was so close. Like, I'm running out of time, okay? He would be despawned, okay? I, I don't know, like, how much time I had. I probably had, like, a few minutes left. And there he is, go. Okay, we got the Wendo sword. And as you can see, we have mastery one. Oh, obviously, okay? We just bought this. Now we have to master this sword all the way up so we can actually use one of the powers of the true triple katana. Now we only have one more sword to go to get the true triple katana, which is a saddie sword. Alright, so here we are and we got the wand.
Nintendo, okay? And it's time to master the sword all the way up, okay? And look at this thing, bro. This looks so nice. Like, the casing on the sword. Tell me this doesn't look amazing. And look who we got here, okay? Star, look at this, okay? I got the Wando sword, okay? I actually got it today, okay? Look at this. And you got it as well. Look at that, okay? The last video, I told you guys that I'm gonna get it, okay? And I actually got it. I got one too. Yeah, I know. You showed me the last time. And I really wanted it because it looks pretty cool, okay? Now, we need to actually master this thing up, okay? Because look how... Oh, this looks just nice, okay? It's simple, but look at the handle. It's actually really nice. As you guys can see, we have two abilities that we need to unlock, okay? Continue slashing and scatter shot, okay? So these are both like the same mastery as the last one. But first, let's go and roll fruit, okay? Let's see if we can get any mythicals, okay? As always, we just need to roll fruit, okay? It became a tradition, to be honest. So let's go and roll one and... What is that? Like, come on, block shoots. Oh, he got a rubber fruit. That's not even that bad. Okay, yeah, you can you can take this. Okay, trade trade it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, rubber isn't that great. Okay, it's it's not a good value fruit. Okay, you can have it. But now, guys, it's time to get to the real business. Okay, we need to get this Wando sword mastered up. Okay, and you guys know we need to go to the third C for mastering the sword. Okay, so take me to the third C, Mister Captain. And let's obviously enable power score for that extra sword damage. And also, we need to test the damage. Where are you going, Star? Where where did you go? I don't even know where you went. Where's this guy? Can I even see him? I think he's on. On... Wait, is that the Turtle Island? A mansion, maybe? Is he in the mansion? Uh, no. He... Wait, he's not here. What the heck? Alright, let's go and test the damage right here. Let's see. Okay, Wando Mastery 1. Let's see. Come on. 30 damage. Let's go! 30. Okay, again, stat reset. Bro, I'm telling you guys, I'm doing this every video. I guess this also became a tradition, okay? To just reset my stats every single time. But anyway, let's go and do that. Boom, boom, boom. And then we have everything on sword. Now, all we have to do is slash. 2.3k, okay. Not too bad for the first, like, mastery one. That's not even that bad. That's actually pretty good damage. I actually didn't expect that. That's actually pretty good, okay? But let's go and unlock the first ability, which is continue slashing by getting some familiar dude, okay? And here we are, Mr. Llama. How are you doing, buddy? I'm to die, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you silly skeleton, okay? You're about to die, buddy. Yeah. Take some of this. Take some of that. There you go. There you go. Okay, wait. Wait, he's actually he's actually slashing me up. Yo, 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 chill. And you transform Buddha, okay? You don't you don't deserve to like be be handled normally, okay? Okay, there you go. Slash you up. And bada beam, bada. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Hey, die. There you go. Easy. Now let's see how much we can get, okay? Let's see. 140. I'm guessing 140. 142, I'm guessing. I don't know if every single sword had the same mastery thing, but I'm guessing 142. Let's see. 138. Wait, last time I I'm pretty sure I got 140 or something. I don't know what's going on over here. I'm pretty sure the last time I finished off with these fishman captains. Okay, let's see. How much can we get from this guy? Okay, there you go. Two levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another five levels right there. And another four levels. There you go. And the last level. New skill available. There you go. We got it. Now, let's see what this skill is all about, okay? I've never used this sword. Maybe I've seen a little bit of star sword. But we need to try it out, okay? I've never tried it out for myself. Let's see what the damage is all about, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. What the? Uh, oh my god, what? It was just an infant, bro, 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 chill. It's like an infinite slashing loop. Like, you can't even get out of it. You, you're, you're getting stunned for life. So that means it's really good combo potential, okay? So once I do this, look at this. You can't escape. Let me go, guys. Oh my god, look at this. And then boom. Wait, <laughs> what? Look at that damage, okay? Easy combo, okay? Yeah, I already like this sword, okay? The Wando, okay, okay, I see you. 4.7k on the first ability, not even being 300 mastery, and we still need to upgrade the sword. So, let's go ahead and check how much we need. What's going on, Mr. Blacksmith? Show me how much I need, okay? Six out of eight droplets, okay, that's pretty good. And we got enough leather. We got 90 leather, okay? I've been kind of grinding, that's pretty good. And we get 15% damage. Wait, usually we get 10%, so that's actually really good. We only need two of these droplets, and I'm pretty sure you get this on Skull Island in the second C. So we have to go back to the second C after we get the second ability, which is Scatter Shot. So let's go ahead and visit a big mom over here, okay? Yeah. Okay. You're about to die, buddy. Yeah. You're about to die, okay? Take some of this, buddy. Wait, how does this sword look like in a glitch? Yo! Look at the big wando! Oh my god, okay. This looks sick, okay? Let's slash you up, buddy. Yeah. Let's slash you up, okay? One, two. One, two. You're gonna be dead in a second, okay? You make no chance, okay? You make absolutely zero chance. Like, bruh. Don't even try, okay? Yeah, okay, queen. Just give it up already. Okay, maybe I'll I'm gonna finish you off with a slash. Okay, let's finish you off with this one. Let's see if we can do that. Come on, one HP, bro. Oh, that wasn't enough, really? Come on, die. Come on, come on, please. And there you go. Okay, 
Big Mom died. Let's see how much smash we can get. We got up to 191. Okay, that's gonna take a little bit more time to get to 300. So we have to kill K Queen a few more times. Okay, so come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come here. Come here. In the infinite stash. Okay, come here. And there you go. Already like 25% of your health gone. There you go. Let's wait, wait. Let's uh, <laughs> infinite slashing loop. Bro, <laughs> she can't escape. Oh my way. We're actually abusing this thing. What if you have like five people using this ability? Like nobody can escape you. Like what? You can like one shot anybody. Like if one person hits the ability, someone is literally that. Okay, let's do that. There you go. Infinite loop. Okay, start do it. Do it. Come on. Bro, you have to do it. Don't leave me down like that. Come on. Okay, there you go. Okay. Let's finish them off, and there you go. 220, okay, we need a few more. Come on, let's finish them off. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now me? Come on, please die, please die, bro. Come on, not enough, really? Bro, okay, okay, you're just gonna die, okay? Okay, prepare for that, okay? Give me your mastery, okay? Give me your mastery, okay? There you go, 240. Bro, we need a lot more than that. All right, there you go, and we're almost done, okay? 294, so now I'm pretty sure we can finish it off with Longma, right? All right, buddy, come here, it's over for you, okay? Come on. Slash you up like that. You have no chance, okay? Why are you even trying? Like, look at that. Just gonna chop you up like that. Yeah, you can do all these abilities. But I think they're useless, okay? So, take some of this. Sharkman Karate. Oh, come on, bruh. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in a corner like that. And I'm just gonna, like, slash you up. Oh, oh he's, he did that to me. He did it to... Bruh, what the heck? This guy's rude, man. Let's chop him up like that. There you go. Hey. <laughs> he got stunned and I'm almost dead. Wait, where is he at? Where is he at? Wait. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's hiding, he's hiding. And there you go, okay, new skill available. So now we unlock the last skill, which is scatter shot. What even is that supposed to mean? All right, let's go and try it out, okay? Let's see what this does. Three, two, one. Oh, 5.1k damage? Okay, okay. Wait, maybe I can combo it with Z and X, maybe. And how long is the distance on this? Let's see, from here maybe? I mean, it's pretty slow. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's really bad. Okay, so nothing hits. Yeah, that's gonna be impossible to hit in a PvP battle. I don't know how you're gonna hit that. I think the only way is just to stun him like that and then have someone else do it, but, like, you have to do it. Like, yeah, you can't really do... Oh, okay, I hit him, lol. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he missed. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty hard to hit, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. But guys, that's not the high damage, okay? We did like 5.1k with one ability. We still need to get like 15% buff, okay? So, wait, let's see how much one slash is, okay? That's 2.5k? Wait, what? I swear to God, I just did more. Okay, I'm guessing it's 2.5k. So we can probably get that up to like 2.8k if we upgrade a sword, okay? So let's go and do that right now. All right, second C, let's see. Yeah, we need exactly two droplets, okay? And I'm pretty sure we can fight the school NPCs or something, right? Yeah, these guys right here with the wings, okay? The water fighters, okay? They use also like the water, like water, like sharkman karate. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Let me, let me chop you up like that, okay? Let me chop you up. There you go. Give me your droplets already. Come on. Give me, bro. You're not dropping anything. Are you Seriously, like, are they gonna drop nothing? What is this? There you go, we got one, and now one more, and we get it. So come on, already give me one. Come on, bro. How often, like, do you get this? Like, bro, is it that rare? There's no way it's that rare, right? Come on, drop, you stupid NPC. Come on. Again, nothing. Like, what? Come on, die. Okay. Again, nothing. Okay, there you go. Finally, obtained Mystic Droplet. That's the last one. Now we can finally go back to the Blacksmith and upgrade our sword. Okay, look at that. 15% juicy damage, okay? So, we're gonna upgrade that. And there you go. 15% extra damage. That's gonna be huge, okay? So, let's try it out, okay? Let's try it out. Let's see how much one slash does now. Okay, let's see. That's 2.9 thousand. Okay, that is insane damage. What the heck? Not many swords can do that. And this is a C2 sword, so this is really good. Now we got a slash. How much does the slash does? Come on. Okay. They're like 4k, right? Okay, let's see. 5.7? Oh my god. And it's a stun ability, so nobody can escape. 5.7k and nobody can escape? That's actually really good. Now let's see scatter shot if we hit all the scatters. Scatter, scatter, scatter. 6. Thousand. Okay, that's insane. Okay, the window is amazing. But the problem is, you're not gonna be able to hit scatter shot. Okay, if, if you're like moving around. Oh, I hit everything. Okay, that's kind of lucky though. And the first ability is a zero range. Okay, yeah. Okay, he had only one of them. Guys, that's the window sword for you. Okay, great damage, pretty nice range ability, I guess. And look at that casing. Okay, look at that casing. Okay, you can't tell me that's amazing. Next up is the Sadi sword, and then we can finally become the ultimate swordsman and obtain the true triple katana. Okay, where today. This is the last part of updating the last sword to becoming the best and greatest swordsman. And if you watched the last video, we unlocked.
unlocked the Wando sword, okay? This sword right in my hand. Now, this sword is actually pretty good, okay? You have, like, these slashing abilities. You have a cool scatter shot, and it's an overall good sword. And now, we have two swords required to getting the true triple katana, which is the Wando and the Shisui. As you guys already know, okay, there is only one sword missing, which is the Sadi sword. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to obtain the Sadi sword, and this is not gonna be easy, because as you guys know, we obviously gotta, like, find the legendary swords dealer, which sells one of the three swords, and it's just completely random, okay? So I might just get three, like, Wando swords that I can buy, and then I, I won't even get the Sadi sword, so this is really, really bad. This might get really annoying, or I might just get super, super lucky. Let's hope for that. And don't forget to subscribe. And let's go and look for this guy, I guess. Or guys, I just joined the server, and apparently this is the server where the Blushroot dealer's at, okay? I'm already getting haunted, okay? I don't know why. Okay, let's go to the save zone or something. I don't know why this guy's haunting me. Oh, never mind. We need to go to Docks 3, right? Let's go to Docks 3. Let's get a boat, and let's check, like, below the thing. Let's see, Enforcer. There you go. Okay, we need to be fast, though. We need to be fast, okay? Wait, maybe on Green Zone. Hold on. Let's check Green Zone first, maybe. Oh, there you go. I don't know how far we need to go. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not entirely sure if he is somewhere around here. Let's see. I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him. Let's see. We need to be fast. We need to be fast. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Is he here? I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't think he's here. Okay. I don't think he's green. I don't think he's green. Okay. Let's go to Ducks 3. There you go. Let's go grab the boat over here. There you go. And now we're gonna check out right here because this is a spawn point, okay? This is a spawn point. He might be right over here. Let's see. I don't think he's there, okay? I don't think he's there. No, no, no. I, he should be there. He should be right over there. And I don't see him. No. Oh my god. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Now, next up, I think graveyard. Yeah, graveyard is on our place. Let's see. Please be here. Please be here. Please. I've been hunting for so long for this guy. Come on. Okay, he's not here. He's not here. Yeah, this island over here. I don't see him either. Oh my god. He might. Oh my god, bro. Okay, the only place I need to check is i'm pretty sure let's see mansion okay let's see let's go mansion right, right here there you go and now we need to go to jamry where is jeremy at uh, i think that okay at that rock exactly okay at that rock let's see hopefully he's there if he's not there then it's gonna be a problem okay let's see come on we need to go fast 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 and yeah this guy's haunting like i don't know what these guys are doing let's see oh yes here yes here yes here let's see let's see please please Police! Sadie! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! I got it! And now let's not get haunted! Oh my god! We got him! 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 Oh my god! Okay, let's let's run away! Let's run away! Let's run! Okay, we ran away! <laughs> let's go! We got the Sadie sword! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that luck? What is that luck? Oh my god! Yo, luckily I had Mink on. Okay, Mink made me fast, but oh my god, we just got the Sadie sword! Look at that! I actually thought we we're not gonna get lucky, but this was like I haunted like two hours. Okay, I waited two hours for this dealer, and this was the only dealer I actually got. Okay, and he instantly gave me sadi oh my god yes bro yes we got it okay and look at this let's see how it does it look okay oh this is interesting okay look at this sword and guys just take a look at this okay this is a sadi sword and if you guys see these things right here are actually golden okay this sword is infused with gold okay and star bro look at this okay this is a sword made out of gold okay i mean infused with gold look at that and you know what that means okay once we go ahead and whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what is that wait is that a is that a golden gun? What the heck? I got a golden gun? Dude, what the heck? I didn't even notice. Wait, what is this? What the heck? Wait, is that is that gold? Yeah, I guess that's gold, right? Or is that fake gold? I mean, that eh, looks pretty much the same. But sorry, you know what that means? Since we have every single one of the three legendary swords, after today's video, when we master the Sadi sword, we're gonna be able to unlock the true triple katanas and that is the only mythical sword you can get in a second c okay and whoa 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 dang i never even got the three swords i know it's hard to get okay because this guy just lets you gamble around okay the legendary swords dealer is super hard to get every single three sword and i grinded hours upon hours and we finally got it okay now the only thing we have to do is get a sadi sword to mastery 300 and upgrade to max level which we're gonna do in today's video okay so let's go and get started with rolling a fruit okay so let's go let's go let's go all right let's see what fruit we can get okay please Give me a good fruit, okay? It's been a while, okay? Spring, bro. What? Spring and chop, guys. We are so unlucky. Like, bro, bro. What? Why did you drop it over here? You can't even collect it now. Imagine someone does this with a mythical fruit. Like, bro, that, that's so annoying. Like, you can't even get it. Okay, let's go and store this. There you go. Okay, I can at least store. Okay, now we need to go back to the third C because we're done in a second C, okay? We have no business here. All right, so here we are in third C and we're gonna test the damage real quick because I don't know what the damage is. So let's go and try real quick. Let's see. So hockey, okay, there you go. See, 2.3K. Okay, so it's the same as pretty much every single sword. I mean, if I remember correctly, I did like Dark Dagger yesterday and that was the same damage. So it, it has the same 
Sweeping damage is a mythical, okay? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? That is so weird, okay? But the first ability is Swords Dance, and the second one is True Air Stash, okay? We're gonna be unlocking both of them in today's video. So where do we get started, okay? I think we get started at the entrance, okay? Yeah, we need to visit some guy, okay? I think some homeless dude lives around here, okay? Oh, yeah, let's try the glitch. There we go. Oh, shoot. Look at this. The Sadie Sword with a glitch. Okay, okay. It looks good. And look at the hand, though. It's not normal. Like, it's not a perfect circle. It's like the... Like these things. That looks good. That looks cool. All right, let's slash you up, buddy. Yeah, let's slash you up. Let me enable hockey real quick. There you go. And come here, buddy. Yeah, give me your mastery already, okay? I need some mastery, and you're not even gonna give me enough, okay? For the first ability, so... So just die already, okay? It's time to die, okay, buddy? Yeah, it's time to die, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay? There you go. And that's probably gonna give me around 140, okay? Let's let just see, okay? Let's see. And that's gonna give me 142. There you go. Okay, so eight more mastery, and we have the first ability unlocked, which is Swords Dance, okay? So I'm pretty sure these fishmen will give us enough, okay? Uh, come here, buddy. Yeah, come here. Yo, that's two levels. That's another two. That's another three. And I'm pretty sure the last one. Boom. And there you go. New skill available. And we just unlocked Swords Dance. All right, so let's go and test the first ability, okay? We got 150 mastery, Swords Dance, okay? It's time to test it. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, what the... Oh, uh, wait, what? Wait, that makes no sense. I couldn't even hit you. Like, I I got one hit on you. Like, what was that? Wait, can I control it? Can I control it? Hold on. So, wait. Oh, I can control it. Oh, 4.4k. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So, it, like, pushes me forward and it, like, spins around. This is super weird. Wait, it's like the Wando. Yeah, it's like the Wando, but you can spin around with it. But do you get stunned? Let's go and try it again. Let's see. Does he get I don't think he gets stunned. Or... Does he? Wait, do you get stunned? I did get stunned. Wait, so it's like a Wando ability, but then um better, I guess, because you, you can move around. That's pretty cool, I guess. That's pretty cool. I do like this first one, and it's 4.4k damage, but one thing we haven't done yet, before we upgrade to the last ability, the true air slash, we can upgrade a sword, okay? Let's just go over here to Port Town, and Mr. Blacksmith here is gonna upgrade my weapon. Let's see, and oh, we have exactly enough. Look at that. 80 droplets and 80 leather. Oh my god, perfect, okay? And that's gonna give us 15% damage, which that is huge, okay? 15%, usually get 10%, but 15% is action sense, so let's upgrade, and there you go. Now let's go and test the damage again, let's see, what, what's a normal slash? What's a normal slash? 2.8 thousand what? Okay, that's really good. I mean, like every other sword we have mastered, that's really good, okay? Now let's go and test the ability right here, let's see. See, that just like do that 5.3k, not too bad. And I stun him, so this is actually an amazing ability. I guess the Wando and the Sadie are kind of similar, so yeah, I mean, pretty much the same thing, but then a little bit twisted up. I did expect some different abilities, but I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as Wando, to be honest. Now we have to unlock through air slash. Now, hopefully, this isn't the same as Wando as well, okay? Then that's gonna be kind of disappointing, okay? But, oh, wait a minute, I just noticed it's like, wait, you can only see this at nighttime. Look at this, I have like a whole golden thing on my sword, like you can see that my sword is made out of gold okay you can see the golden golden like thing that is pretty cool that's pretty cool but i still pay the same price for the sword which is kind of weird okay it was all two million and this is all like gold that kind of doesn't make sense but let's go back to the mansion because we have to finish some business and unlock the last ability which we need 300 mastery so i don't know why i went to the mansion because we kind of need to go to the ice cream land because we gotta meet uh k queen again okay what's good k queen okay i got a new sword for you all right let's slash you up k queen okay you make no chance okay hey, look at the golden particles wait i just noticed when I slash, it's like golden par particles. I like that. Okay, okay. Wait, this is a sick sword, okay? It's like a golden one. Pretty sure this is the only golden sword in the game, okay? This is really nice, okay? We got Big Mom already gone to like 1 HP. Let's stun her like that. Ooh, that looks sick. And what? Uh, what? What the? Ooh, what was that? I just got yeeted out of the arena. What the heck, bro? You're gonna pay, okay? You're gonna pay. What, what did you do to me, okay? What did you do to me, okay? You're gonna pay. Yeah, run away, okay? Run away, yeah. That's what I thought. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What, what you gonna hide? Okay, bruh, bruh, bruh. What is that fling? Bro, what, what is she doing over here? Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. What the heck? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay? Let me slash up. Do this. There you go. Do this. Do this. You're gonna be dead in a second, okay? Let's do that. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, 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 Chill. And there you go, okay? We got it, okay? Let's see. So, we got up to... 187. That's like 37 I got. Yeah, we need a bunch more, okay? Let's spawn K-Queen again. And let's keep repeating until we get 300. Come on, K-Queen, die. Come on. There you go. That's another one down. A few more to go. All right, go ahead and die again. There you go. That's another one down. Okay, come on, K-Queen. 1 HP. Take off some of this. There you go. And die. Okay, 291. I'm pretty sure we can finish it off with Longma. And then we finally unlock the last ability. Now, guys, I have a question. Dude, look at look at Sargo. Bro, Ming V4 is so fast. What the 
heck? And guys, I have a question for you guys. What do you guys think so far, okay? Which one is the better sword? Wando, Shisui, or the Sadi? What do you guys think? Because I feel like the, the Sadi so far, I mean, it's it's winning, to be honest. It's winning. Uh, I'm just sold because of the gold, okay? I'm not gonna lie, okay? But I'm already low, okay? Start, start messed up, okay? Let's see. Come on. A little bit of that. There we go. Can we do it without observation? I don't think so, okay? I don't think so. I need that on. I need that on. Oh, come on. Die. Come on. And I didn't get mash free. Bruh, what is that? Alright, come here, Langma. Come here. Let me slice you. Let me dice you. And boom, you're dead. And two more mash free. Are you kidding me? Uh, maybe these fishmen will give me enough. Come on, fishmen. Give me enough mash free, okay? I need this last ability. Come on. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come here, buddy. Okay, that's one. One more. And we have another. Look at that. New skill available. Perfect. Finally, bro. That took a while. I mean, it's obviously way quicker with spawning in bosses. But we're gonna try the last ability, which is true air slash. This one right here, okay? 300 mash free. Let's go and try it out. Three, two, one. And wait, what? Wait, wasn't that the, the Dark Blade ability? What, what was that? Wait, wait, may maybe I'm seeing things. Maybe I'm seeing things. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe I'm seeing things. Let's even try it again. I'm pretty sure it was like 5k damage, dude. That was insane. Let's see. Huh? Wait, that's literally the Dark Blade, but then like flipped? What? What the heck? Uh, guys, this, the, the Sadi Sword is a Dark Blade, but then free? Like, what? I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's the same, like, damage, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see. It's the same thing. 5.1k damage. Wait, how much does the Dark Blade do? All right, let's see. We get the Dark Blade out, and let's see what the Dark Blade does. Wait, it's called Dark Air Slash, and the other one was called True Air Slash? Bro, yeah, it's the same thing. All right, let's see. Boom. This one does 5.5k, what? I'm pretty sure that's because Mastery 600. If Sadi Sword was Mastery 600, that would be the same damage. Bro, Sadi Sword is just a second Dark Blade, what the heck? And with the Z is like, the slashes? I mean, I guess Sadi also has slashes, like what? Isn't Sadi just a better Dark Blade? I kind of feel like that. Obviously, the Dark Blade is way cooler, but yeah, it pretty much is the same thing. It's literally a free Dark Blade. But guys, this was the last part of unlocking the three legendary swords in Blocks Roots. In the second C, okay? The last sword we have to unlock is obviously the true triple katana to become the best swordsman and that in the next video now you guys already have an idea what we're doing today and as you can see on my back over here we got the pole v2 now guys this sword over here is actually insane and look how cool it looks all right i mean this is an insane i think this is one of the most overpowered swords in the game you can literally send a lightning strike to anyone okay yeah, look at that. You can set him into a lightning prison. And it has super, super high damage. So I think it's just amazing. But in today's video, we're doing something else, all right? In today's video, we're gonna be obtaining the Rangoku Sword, all right? The Rangoku Sword is known for its flame abilities and its flame powers, all right? Star, what? Are you, like, roleplaying an NPC or something? What's going on over here? Do you know what we're doing today? We're getting the Rangoku Sword, okay? So we have to go to an ice castle, fight a boss, and get a special key to actually unlock this sword, all right? Sound Sounds easy? What do you mean it sounds easy? That sounds ho- Oh, wait a minute. Is that the Rengoku? That is the Rengoku sword. Bro, he already has it? You already went through all of it? No way you have this thing. Well, I guess you're the navigator today, okay? But first, we need to do something way more important, right? Let's go over here and we need to roll a fruit, right? And we haven't rolled a fruit on here since a while, right? So it's been a while, okay? Let's go and roll a fruit, okay? Come on. Let's see. C2 random fruit roll, okay? And... Uh, okay, yeah, well, I guess the luck didn't, um, upgrade, yeah, and you got bomb fruit, bro, both doo-doo fruits, I mean, hey, ha, they can be here, alright? Alright, so we have to go to a so named ice castle, right, and do I even see it, um, is that a winter castle? Wait a minute, let's see, um, yeah, that's exactly here, alright, we climb up this mountain, and supposedly in here is a boss which we have to defeat, alright, and it seems like he is not here, yeah, we have to spawn him in, alright, and there he is, the awakened ice admiral, and we have to beat this guy, and he has a drop chance of dropping a hidden key, all right? Oh, this is the boss that has ice fruit, okay? I'm gonna fight him with his own powers, all right? We have ice. Hey, take some of this, buddy. Oh, I don't have any points on block shoes, okay? I guess we have to use our ball v2 then, okay? All right, come here, bucko. Hey, let's finish you off, and we didn't get anything, okay? We should have gotten a hidden, like, key or something. There's actually two hidden keys that you can get from this. A library key for this door over here, and another hidden key. But yeah, I guess we gotta find out and, uh, you know, spawn a little bit more of these bosses so we can get this hidden key. All right, Awakened Ice Admiral, come here, buddy. I don't think you make any chance for my ball v2, all right? Take this, take that. Bro, this guy is so easy, right? I mean, he can freeze me, but <laughs> he's just dying. And we still didn't get anything. What? Bro, I thought it was gonna be easy. Where is this key, man? All right, another one of these ice admirals. I think you are a joke, all right? Look how fast you're dying, bro. You have no chance for the Pobi 2 powers, right? Take some of this, take some of that, and your HP is literally gone. All right, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and the hand of God. Take this. Oh, he's one HP. 
boom. And we got the library key, which is this key over here, this blue key. And this is actually used for this door right over here. Now, yeah, we already have this door unlocked, all right? Uh, and yo, Star, you also have this one, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this, man? Why do you have it as a pocket? Anyway, we can actually unlock a fighting style right here, which is the death step, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if you're wanting to unlock death step, yeah, here's the place. But this is not the key, all right? We have to get another key, which is the hidden key. All right, Awakened Ice Admiral, now give me the hidden key, all right? I've been fighting you for a while, please. Just drop it right now, okay? Please, drop it right here. Come on, drop it in. Right here, right here, and now drop it in. Oh, uh, no, nothing, really? Are you serious right now? Like, what is going on? For us C2 boss, this guy's still dealing quite a lot of damage, actually. I mean, hey, take some of this, okay? You make no chance still. Some of that, and the last ability right here. Boom, you're dead. And another library key? Bro, stop giving me these library keys. What is this? I need a hidden key right here, man. Drop it in. Bro, and he's freezing me. Come on, hey, die already, bro. Hey, take some of this, take some of that. Oh, I'm missing everything what's going on and he froze me again bruh like, i don't want to be spending any more robux on you okay i've spent already enough robux to get this all right you have to drop it in right take this wait bro why is it going behind him okay anyway this ability is super glitch i just go and finish him off and we didn't get anything come on now how often do we have to kill this guy all right come on please die already die already come on <sighs> Nothing, bro. What is this? How hard is this thing to get? I don't want to spend all my Robux on this. All right, I don't know which boss I'm spawning in already, but this is like the like 10th boss, maybe. I don't know, man. You better drop it in right now, right here. Otherwise, it won't end good for you, okay? So, hey, take some of this. Yo, why are you freezing me, bro? It's no problem because we can just finish him off like that and still no key. Um, Yeah, this is harder than expected, all right? I have two library keys, but still no hidden key. Like, what? All right, come on. You have to drop it in. Like, why? Why isn't he not dropping it in? Come on. Die. Come on. Hey, you found a hidden key. And that's it, all right? And here we got it, okay? The hidden key. Finally, bro. After like 10 tries. Or even more, okay? Now, sorry, you probably already know. But we have to go right over to this door over here. And here's a secret door, okay? Once we have our key equipped, we can go through it. And wait, you can go through it as well? I probably opened the door for you anyway. And here's the chest. Once we touch this chest with this hidden key, we're able to unlock the Rengoku sword. You found a secret sword. Ha, finally. And as you can see, we got the Rengoku sword right here. So let's go and equip this guy. And we got a new title, the Samurai. Ooh, look at this drippy sword. Okay. Hey, look at this. This looks hella sick, to be honest. What is... Wait, this is crazy. It's gonna be the best sword. Whoa, what is the aura on this? What the... Yo. Why have I never known about his sword? Okay, now... Now, we have to actually master this sword, all right? We have to get Demon Slayer ability and the Burning Slash. But now, guys, comes the real struggle, right? We have to go back to the third C because we have to fight some bosses, all right? At least we can also fight one of the bosses in the second C. Maybe we should try that, actually. All right, guys, we arrived at a Skull Island because there is a boss that has been terrorizing this town and all of the villagers are super scared, all right? He's been ruling this town and we're about to take a stop on this. He's right over here, okay? And this guy can actually spawn in a sea beast. That's why he's so special. Look at this. Is the Tide Keeper. Yeah, you think you're that tough? Hey, take some of this rank Goku. Hey, hey. Hey, how much damage am I dealing? Wait a minute. 2.6k? That's not even that good. All right, you're super low, and let's see if we can actually unlock the first ability while defeating you, right? So let's go and take some of this, all right? Take some of that. We don't have any abilities unlocked, so we just have to slash him up. Slash, slash, and there you go. And we also locked up Dragon Trident. Well, I'm pretty sure I already have that one. And we got up to Mastery 121. So we didn't unlock the first ability. We have to kill another boss, all right? And Star, what key are you holding? Did you just drop this or something? Why is it blue? Wait a minute. It's the water key? Oh, it's for unlocking the Sharpman Karate thing. I already know. Anyway, let's go into the third C because we have some more bosses to kill, all right? And guys, here we arrived, okay? At the Longma Cave. And he's not here. So I guess we have to spend some more Robux, all right, to spawn him in. Ah, uh, they always want more Robux and more Robux. But anyway, Longma, it's time to die, all right? Take some of this Rengoku power. I don't know what sword you're using, Longma, but it's no match for mine. All right, Longma, it's time for you to die, all right? You're literally one HP and... Bro, stop using that. Okay, come on, come on. Longma, die already. Come on. Yay, let's go. Come on, at least 150 and we got up to 150 mastery. So that means we unlock the first ability, which is Demon Slayer, all right? Let's go and test this one out. Okay, let's see what this Demon Slayer stuff does, all right? Let's see. Three, two, one, and... Ooh, what is this pose? Pretty cool. And slash. What the... 
4.8,000 damage? Wait, that is insane. Wait, this might be one of the best swords. Okay, it's definitely one of the cooler looking swords, all right? Hey, yo. Hey, take some of this demon slayer again, all right? It's insane damage. Bro, why did I not notice? Okay, this is an insane sword. And if you guys look, it changes like the outline with my hockey. That's pretty cool, I guess. All right, guys. Now the real job has to be done, all right? Mastery 350 for burning slash, right? So I'll be right back, guys. We have to take a visit to Mr. Big Mom over here, all right? Hey, there she is. Or should I say Mr. Big Mac? I mean, yo, hey, take some of this. Aboom, ah, you're going to die. Guys, I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage, right? Big Mom is taking a lot and a lot of damage to this Rengoku. We got up to mastery 190, okay? There's a bunch more Big Moms to go. All right, guys, after my potato PC literally exploded... All the recording is gone, right? And the only recording saved is before I killed all the bosses, right? So, as you guys can see, we have mastery 350, right? So, that means we unlocked a burning slash, right? So, yeah, we got the last ability. So, now we're about to test it on star, all right? Let's see what this burning slash is gonna be, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait. Yo, 6k damage? Wait a minute. What the heck? That is insane. Wait a minute. What if I combine it with Z? So first Z like this. And then this. Like X straight off. Ah, uh, you get knockbacks way too far. Maybe the other way around. Alright, so first X like this. And then this. Oh. Oh, what the? That just literally like one shot him? What the heck? Wait, that is insane. Okay, let's go and try that again since you died, alright? 3 to 1. Boom. Boom. Oh my... Bro, look at that damage. All right, Star, I need you to enable hockey, right? I want to see how much damage it is with hockey on, right? All right, 3 to 1. Let's go. First this, then this. Yo, all right, your half HP is literally gone. So if you catch someone off guard, you can literally erase someone half HP and then just combo him with like a fighting style. This is insane. We're going to be going over and awakening a blade. That is a blade of the night, a double-edged sword that can even spawn the portals. But before we do that, if you guys have watched one of my other videos, you guys know that we awakened the Bicento V2 version and we became Whitebeard, okay? And as you guys can see, this sword over here, bro, bro, it does a lot of damage, okay? Let me, let me grab my NPC over here. There you go. PC. Boom. Uh, wait. I mean, oh, what the heck? I'm enable hockey. I guess I have to enable hockey for that. And look at this attack, okay? Bro. 5.3k in one go. And then boom. This will finish him off like that, okay? This is the most overpowered sword I've ever used in the game. But in today's video, we're supposedly getting a sword that can spawn portals for us. Like the portal fruit, okay? Portals like these, all right? As you guys can see, we can spawn portals with portal fruit. But apparently, this sword can also spawn portals. So we're gonna get started. And I'm not really sure what star... Oh. Star is sitting right here. Are you ready to master this blade? By the way, guys, it's called the Midnight Blade, all right? Yes. Do you, by the way, have this blade? I'm not even sure, okay? This this blade is kind of weird to get. And I have done my research, guys, okay? Don't get me wrong. I've done my research, okay? I didn't get it yet. Well, I'm here to show you, right? So follow me. You already know, guys, we need to roll a fruit, right? Let's go and roll a fruit right now because we need to get a random fruit. Every video, we get a bad fruit. Bro, what is this, man? Smoke fruit. Hey, you take that, man. I don't, I don't need it, okay? I don't need it. Hey, so what you got? And... Oh, my God. No. No! The Kilo Lock is back. The Kilo Lock is back. Get out of here. Get out of here. We need to get out as fast as possible. But first, guys, we need to go to a place where we can actually unlock this Midnight Blade. Do you guys already know where it is? Okay, it's kind of obvious in the second C, all right? It is the... Okay, it might be the Dark Arena, okay? It's not the Dark Arena, okay? It's actually the Graveyard, okay? We have to go there first, and... Uh, I can't teleport out of here. What the heck? Anyway, the place where we gotta go is actually the graveyard, okay? Uh, and next to the graveyard, there is a ship. And we have to go in that ship, okay? The haunted ship, okay? So follow me because we need to go in here. Alright, guys. Bada beam, bada boom. And we're in the ship. The cursed ship. Alright, so apparently there's an NPC over here. I'm not really sure where it is, okay? So here we got the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen is here. But I'm pretty sure there's an NPC that sells this sword over here. Was it in one of these rooms? Let's see. Was it this one? Oh, there it is. L admin. And once we talk to this guy over here. This guy says hello again. And now he says that because I already have this blade. Look at this. The Midnight Blade Legendary Sword. Now you guys might be asking why do you have this sword already? Well, through my playthrough, I probably already bought it. And hey, Star got it as well. Now how much did that cost you? A hundred ectoplasm? Yeah, guys. So that's how you get it. You need to get a hundred ectoplasm. And just for y'all to know, the best way to get ectoplasm is you go right over here to the kitchen and you just kill all these chefs, these stewards, alright? And these will give you ectoplasm 
ectoplasm so you can finally get your midnight blade. And hey, yo, look at this. It looks sick. It looks like a crazy midnight blade, right? I want to master this already. As you can see, the abilities are called portal opening and crescent dash pro. That sounds already insane. So let's go master this sword and let's see what this potential is going to be. All right, guys, we arrived at a flower field and here is diamond, right? Hey, diamond, are you ready to taste some of this midnight blade? Wait, how much damage is this doing? Wait a minute. So 1.9 thousand? That's nothing. What if I enable hockey? Okay, I enable hockey and now slash him up. Oh, chill. Yo, yo, let me slash him. Let me slash him. Okay, there you go. 2.2k. That's not very impressive for a midnight blade. I read this sword can do a lot more damage. And it's one of the better swords in C2. So, hey, diamond, take my blade and give me some mastery, right? Because we need it for the first ability. Okay, take this. Take that. Come on. Hey, let's go. Okay, so how much mastery are we gonna get from this C2 boss? Now, you guys know I never master my swords in C2, but we're gonna test it today. Let's see how fast. And we got up to 77. Uh, we need 150. Do I know a better boss around here? I, I think so. All right, here we arrived at the other boss, which is Jeremy. Hey, my boy Jeremy is already waiting, okay? Do you wanna taste this blade over here? Here, taste this blade, Jeremy. Hey, I got a new blade, all right? And you're gonna die in seconds, all right? And there you go, right? Mastery 95? Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. This is literally nothing. We need a lot more than that, all right? Um, yeah. Well, guys, I know a guy which can give me a lot of that juicy mastery, right? Hey, it's Don Swan. This guy's a little bit harder to defeat, or wait, his HP is literally just erasing. Okay, what the heck? Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, buddy, I need to get my accessories so I can even deal more damage. If you guys don't know, this accessory does a lot more damage, right? Look at this. One hit. 2.6k, bro. It's insane, right? So let's go finish this guy off. And there you go. Let's see. Please give me an off mastery. 130, bro. Are you serious? How many bosses do we have to do? You know what? I know a boss, right? I know a boss, okay? It is the Winter Castle, right? This guy always gives me an off mastery, right? So we're gonna go over here. Hello? Hello? What's up? What's up? Oh, we can Ice Admiral. I'm taking your mastery, right? Today, I'm taking everything. I'm taking everything you own. Obviously, okay. Yeah, don't freeze me, you idiot. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me all your mastery. Everything. Everything you have, okay? Give me everything. And... Oh, we got a library key as well. Come on. Hey, we got enough. 155 mastery and we unlocked portal opening, all right? For 150 mastery. So, we're gonna see what this thing does, all right? Let's see. So, we're gonna test it right over here in his mansion, I guess. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's see. Ooh, we got a cool pose. That's pretty cool. And go. What the heck? Uh, what was... Wait, a port was that a portal? Yeah, I mean, it says portal opening. I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? But wait, do I need to be close range or something? Let's see. Yo, wait, it sucks you into a portal. Like, what other fruit was that? I think like dark fruit or something. It also is like this thing that it sucks in or something. I don't know, but let's go and try it from a longer distance. Because I feel like... Let's see. Wait, what? What? Is that all I can do? Uh, guys, I feel like this is not even that good because it's literally, like, close range. For me to be able to hit my ability, we need to stand here and then use this. And it does 3.4k, which isn't even that great. Yeah, I don't know about this, guys. Hopefully, this crescent dash is gonna be way better. But guys, guys, look at this. The Midnight Blade Wiki, right? If we scroll down, right? Look at what I found, okay? Upgrading the sword. We can upgrade it, by the way. Not every sword is upgradable. And as you can see, it gives 15% extra damage. That is insane. That is a huge buff. Besanto was like 25%, which is even more, but I'm pretty sure that's the best upgrade out of the whole game. Now, we need 40 Ectoplasm and 15 Scrap Metal. Uh, that's so easy, bro, bro, bro. Look at this. Look at this. I already have it, probably. I already have it. Look at this. 90. Yeah, easy. 90. And what is the other one? Scrap Metal? 84, bro. Bro, easy peasy. All right, so now we're gonna go to the docks, and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, that is docks too. Please be right. Please be right. Oh, yes. I've done this too many times to mess it up, all right? So, right now, we're going to the blacksmith over here. Please, upgrade my sword over here, okay? I want to become even overpowered. Okay, there you go. Hey, easy. 50% damage. Crap. Upgraded weapon to grade one. Okay, now we have a much stronger weapon. And don't mind if I do, because I need to test the damage. 2.9... Okay, wait a minute. I think that was 2.6k before. Okay. It's starting to get closer to 3k, which is insane damage, by the way, for one slash. Oh, wait a minute. How much does the portal opening does now? Let's see. 3.9k? Wait, it did 3.5k before. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, guys. Now we need to unlock Crescent Dash. 3... 
25 and mastery. Oh my god. How am I gonna get this in the second C? I don't think it's even possible, to be honest. What's the best boss? I think it's Skull, right? Yeah, it's Skull, right? Okay, let's go Skull and let's go fight his boss. Let's see if we can even get close to the amount of mastery we need. I'm pretty sure it's literally hopeless in C2 to grind 300 mastery, right? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. And here we have the Tide Keeper, okay? This guy has been terrorizing the sound and uh, we need to kill him, okay? We need to kill him, okay? It's done for you, buddy. It's done. It's done. It's over. It's over. It's all over, okay? You're dead. Today is your last day being alive, okay? How do you feel? Get in the portal and die. This guy's dead. Oh my, bro, 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 bro. Who do you think you are? Take some of this portal stuff and... Okay, I'm kind of low. Hold on, where's this guy? Oh, he's about to sneak attack me. What's going on over here, okay? You thought you're gonna sneak attack me? No, 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 no. Let's get in the portal, buddy. Hey, let's go. Let's see. 156 to 170. Uh, yes, yeah, star. I think we should get out of here because that's not giving enough mastery. So I think we need to go to dog three to get to the third C, right? Yeah, yeah, we're, go we're gone, okay? <laughs> we're leaving this place. Here we are, and we're going straight to the elephant because we know elephant is just a weakling, all right? A weakling amongst the others, all right? So, hey, buddy, prepare yourself for death because you're not gonna be living any longer, okay? Let's take some of this, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, not this again. Why is these annoying attacks, man? Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't have... Wait, where's my soul guitar? Bro, why, why do I have this bazooka? What is this useless bazooka? Uh, I'm about to die here. What's going on? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Chill, 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 buddy. Take the portal. Uh, that's not doing anything. Hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, hello? Help me. Help me, bro. Oh my god. Hey, take this. There you go. 4k damage, okay. Now take that. I guess I gotta use my fighting style too, okay? Take this, buddy. Hey, hey, what you gonna say now? What you gonna say now, okay? It's over for you. It's over. Wait. Wait, start. Ally me, bro. You're about to kill me. All right, take some of that. There you go. All right, this guy's easier than expected, right? Um, Yeah, take some of this, buddy. Slash him up real quick. And it's easy peasy, all right? Lemon squeezy. It's like eating a sandwich, all right? It's nothing else than just some lunch, right? And it's done. Oh. 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 Uh... Oops. All right, now you're done for real, okay? You've caused enough trouble. Okay, there you go. Slash him up. And let's see. That gave me much more mass. Wait. Not, wait, 16? That, um... This is gonna take forever! Alright, guys, I guess I gotta speed this part up because ain't nobody wanna see me killing bosses for 30 minutes, alright? So I'll be in this exact position in, like, 20 minutes. 3, 2, 1, boom. And there we are again. And as you can see, okay, we, we just teleported pretty much, okay? You saw you saw a cool transition, I guess. Uh, Mastery 325, as you can see. And we just unlocked Crescent Dash, right? So Star, let's see what this ability is gonna do, right? The first one wasn't too impressive, to be honest, okay? We, we can just spawn in a portal like this it that doesn't even hit you like it's not that good right? it's not that great okay i don't know even how to hit this thing okay we're gonna see what crescent dash does all right so let's see three two and one okay cool pose boom oh uh, yo what the heck it's like a portal fruit mixed with a sword i like this hold on a minute i teleport to you and i slash you wait a minute all right guys this sword is not too rangey okay yeah it doesn't have range so you have to like spam the abilities from this range like this Boom. 5k da- What the heck? 5k damage? What? And then we do this extra, like this. How much da- 4k? Wait a minute. Two abilities and you're already down half HP. I mean, what the heck? I can slice and dice anyone then. What the heck? Wait, let's zoom out. I want to see the ability, like, um, full picture. Let's see. That looks cool. What the heck? That's like a fireworks show. What the heck? And then in comparison to the actual, like, Portal abilities like this. Yeah, portal doesn't have many effects, but look at the portals, okay? They look sick. And then we have this, like that, all right? Maybe Midnight Blade is gonna get a rework to look like portal. That would be sick, to be honest. Guys, guys, guys look at this combo. Look at this combo. Starts right there, okay? Starts right there. Look at this. 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 Do this. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Boom. Boom. Oh my. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Midnight Blade is insane. Let everyone know. This is the best sneakiest blade. But guys, if you guys want a permanent fruit, I might give out a dark fruit, okay? Dark permanent. I don't have it here. I'll just buy one, okay? Because Midnight Blade is kind of like dark theme. So like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. We are going to do something else, okay? We're gonna be awakening a sword, okay? Yeah, this sword apparently has an awakening. Now, don't look at that. It's not the Midnight Blade. I I'm not even sure why it's that. Wait, I don't even have a sword equipped. What? Why is that there? It, block shoots. Anyway, guys, in today's video, we're gonna use a legendary sword, okay? I've been talking about a sword that is a special awakening for a very long time. But in today's video, we're actually gonna be awakening this sword into the V2 version. And Star, are you ready? Uh, what is up with your spiky tri- Why? What the- Bro. 
you always find some weird glitches, all right? What even is that? But guys, in the last sword video, we actually did Dark Blade V2. And let me tell you guys, Dark Blade V2 is actually pretty sick, okay? I mean, I didn't expect this, but obviously, Rip Indra is the person that uses Dark Blade V2, so it's expected to be good. Or maybe actually V3. Don't, don't get me wrong, okay? This is the first ability, okay? The only thing that's different is that you, like, dash forward. And then we got Dark Air Slash, which is, like, this... Yeah, it goes way farther and it's way cooler, okay? Yeah, this one is pretty good. And we'll soon awaken that to V3. So, the sword that we're gonna be doing today is Paul V2, all right? As you guys can see, we have a Paul, okay? I, I, I don't, I'm not even sure if this is, like, called a sword, like... Is this even a sword? Like, I, I don't even know, to be honest. It doesn't have a blade, so is it qualified as a sword? I mean, I guess so. But as you guys can see, I've already mastered the V1 version, the first form version, to 189 mastery. Now, as you guys can see, we have two abilities unlocked, which is Explosive Cloud and Lightning Rain. Now, start. Let's go over here and let's go and test these abilities, all right? Because I don't think I've ever used this um sword, I guess. And we're gonna get started with Awakening the V2, because there's actually some special steps that you have to take. All right, let's go and see this first ability, Explosive Cloud, all right? Let's see what this does. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Oh, yo, what the? Uh, what was that? I just noticed I did 100 damage. So that means, yeah, my sword stats are all messed up. All right, let's refund that real quick. There you go. And let's refund my stats so we can actually place it on a sword, defense, and melee like that. And there you go. Okay, now let's see how much damage this actually does. Okay, I'm not really sure what it did though. So three, two, one, and... Uh, oh, 3.3k damage for an ability of a sword? I mean, not too shabby. But guys, how am I supposed to hit this ability? Like, bro, like, what if I do this? Yeah, it doesn't even hit him. Like, he can easily dodge that. I don't know about this ability, okay? Let's go and try the next one, Lightning Rain. Okay, let's see. 3, 2, 1, and... Oh, okay, 3.5k. That, that was kind of faster. But you need to have a stun ability to actually be able to use this one. So, I don't know if this is actually usable. Now, what about a normal slash? Okay, let's see. That does 2.2k damage, okay? I'm not sure how much Dark Blade does. All right, let's grab the Dark Blade over here and let's see, okay? 2.8 thousand, okay? So it's not even close. But we're about to awaken Paul V1 into Paul V2. And that's why we need Paul V1 mastered up, okay? But that is not everything we need. We need something special. We actually need Rumble fully awakened, which I have, okay? As you guys can see, Rumble over here, I have it fully awakened. Now, we actually need this to get Paul V2. It's kind of a strange, like, requirement, but we actually need that. I'm pretty sure this sword is one of the hardest swords to get in the entire game. Other than maybe some other swords, okay? And also, if you're wondering where to get this pull v1 you get it in a thunder boss in c1 at the sky islands and it has like a one percent or five percent drop chance and then you have to master it all the way up to 180 mastery and now we can actually start getting pull v2 so star are you ready have you ever even seen a sword like this you are literally fighting a boomstick <laughs> You're not wrong, to be honest. It's literally a stick. I don't know why it even does damage. <laughs> anyway, Star, we need to awaken this sword, okay? So come with me, all right? I know exactly what we have to do. We have to go to the Mysterious Scientist and purchase our Rumble ticket, all right? Now, you guys already know what we're doing, okay? We need to do a sixth Rumble raid to awaken Rumble another time. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that's about, but that's what we have to do. Then we get teleported into a place where we can unlock and buy Povi 2. So let's get this raid done with. All right, NPCs, take my stick, okay? Uh, I mean, take my pole, all right? Uh, yeah. How does it feel to be killed by a stick? Yeah, like a literal stick, okay? Like a pole. I mean, what the? Literally die. And we should be out of here within a second. And if you're planning to do this as well, you need Rumble equipped at the end of the raid, okay? Do not forget that. Otherwise, you have to do it all over again. So pay attention, all right? Onto the last island, boss, here we come, all right? You have no chance against my pole, all right? If you guys haven't already noticed, I'm doing every raid with Buddha. Well, why do you think, guys? This is the only way to play the game at the moment. Yeah, not even joking. I right, guess the boss is low. Now we switch to Rumble, right? There you go. And as you guys can see, the boss is very low. I have Rumble equipped and I have Paul V2. I don't know if that's necessary, but now we should be able to finish this boss up, okay? Take this, take that, take this. Come on, please. Die already. Electric Flash. Uh, oh, that didn't do anything. Uh, Lightning Beast. Uh, oh, never mind. I don't have any points on block shoots. I forgot about that, okay? Let me go up with this one. Come on. Boom. There we go. All right, there we go. Bada beam. Bada boom. Come on. Die. Uh, where are you? Where are you, buddy? Yeah, you're not running away from me. Come on, buddy. You're dead right here. Hey, let's go. And as you guys can see, we finished the raid. 1,000 fragments and six minutes left. And as you can see, we're in the dimension where you get it, okay? And who is this guy? The Thunder God. Will you sell me a Povi 2? What do you need? Well, you obviously know what I need, okay? Would you like me to teach you about Paul's second form for 5,000 fragments? Ah, <sighs> sure, bro. Sure, whatever. Take my fragments and there you guys go. Bought Paul's second form for 5,000. 
thousand fragments. And where is this island even? Uh, this is kind of weird. Okay, let, let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, guys, am I am I stuck here or something? Uh, how do I get out? Okay, since we already have the pole V2, I guess we can just reset. I mean. How else are you gonna get out of here? Ah, uh, there you go. As you guys can see, we have pull second form, and oh my god, that looks great. Yo! Oh, it gives the light, like it's glowy? I like this one already. Okay, okay, let's see. Wait, it's not a pull anymore, though. Like, I I mean, I guess it's kind of, but it's kind of like a trident now. This is cool. And as you guys can see, we have two abilities, the Hand of God and Electric Prison. Now, we're gonna try to unlock both of these abilities in this exact video. So, let's see. We need to go over here. All right, Star, are you ready? We need to kill Big Mom a few times, all right? So, we can actually actually unlock the abilities. And you already know, guys, we're gonna go over here and uh, fight Big Mom. And the good thing about it is, is we can transform into Buddha and we can kill Big Mom with our trident, right? Wait, how much damage is this doing? Wait a minute. It's doing 2.7 thousand in one hit. That's much better than Paul V1. All right, Big Mom, jokes are over. Time to trade in your life because we need the mastery, right? We need it. Come here, okay, Queen, come here. Come on. All right, let's finish you over here because we're a Buddha, right? You ain't making no chance. And as you guys can see, come on, come on. Oh, oh, we unlocked the first ability hand of god in one kill that's perfect right we got 157 mastery so i guess now we know how much cake queen gives in one go never really tested that all right let's go and test hand of god all right i'm expecting some crazy stuff because this was hard to get all right all right three two one and go yo 4k damn okay 4k damage is not bad not bad whatsoever hold on that, that looked cool wait, wait let's go and do that and it's super fast wait a minute i can electrocute you to the death oh 2.7. Oh my god, wait, your health is going down like crazy. What is happening? Bro, that looks way more than normal. What? I feel like it's an ability that you can hit pretty easy, right? You can just move around like that and then boom. I hit every single one of them. What the actual? Okay, this is amazing. Now I can't wait to unlock electric prison. 350 mastery, okay? Be right back, guys. All right, there you go. Another K queen kill. Let's see how much mastery you can get. All right, we got up to 190 mastery, okay? Let's go. And we need to spend more Robux and more Robux, okay? Just for you guys, okay? So you better smash that like, okay? Because we're spending a lot of Robux for these videos. A few minutes later. All right, guys, we got up to 330 mastery, okay? And bro, it's taking so long, okay? It's easier because we have Buddha, right? And Buddha with sword is so easy. Like, if you're not doing this with Buddha, then I don't know what you're doing, okay? All right, there you go. And K-Queen is almost dead, bro. This thing does a lot of damage, by the way, guys. I don't know why. It feels like I'm doing 10 times more damage. I don't know, okay? Let's go and kill this guy. And boom, 338, okay? 12 more mastery. And a block stress spawned. Okay, wait a minute. What if that's a mythical? 200 meters away from this? Wait, wait, wait. We need to get this one. Bro, what if it's a fresh mythical? Hold on, where is it? Where is it? It's this way, right? Yeah, it's this way. It should be at Cake Island, maybe? Or maybe chocolate okay no definitely cake right come on 100k it's somewhere over here come on where is this thing right here oh, i know this spot come on please <gasps> It's a light fruit, okay. That's not a mythical, that's not a legendary, but that's an epic fruit, okay. Unlucky, I guess. Uh, back to grinding we go. All right, the last K Queen. Come here, buddy. Hey, let me get some abilities on you, because I didn't use them, okay? Here you go. Boom. And Buddha transform. And now you're literally dead, all right? Don't even try running away. All right, come here, K Queen. You're 1 HP. Take my pull V2. There you go. And we got up to 347. So three more mastery. Now we can easily get that by killing some of these, uh, yeah, chaps. I right, guess this should be the last one. And come here, buddy. Uh, okay, no, one more. Now, this one should be the last one. Okay, take some of this, take some of that, and take some of that. And there you guys go. Mastery level up, new skill available. We unlocked Electric Prison. Now, if this is what it sounds like, it's gonna be a really good move, all right? But you never know with these moves, all right? Let's equip Pulse Scarf, and let's see. Electric Prison, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, two. Wait, what? What was that? I guess I stunned you and then I can literally like combo you with the hand of God? Wait, this is sick. All right, all right let's see. X first, there you go. I stun you and then you do this. Oh my bro. Star is literally max level and he's getting so much damage. Like why? OV2 is literally OP. Wait, there's no way I'm gonna finish him off with X, right? Let's see. Bro. Oh my god. Dude, that is insane. Yeah, I can't move. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I'm, I'm grabbing you into a prison and then I can just combo you with anything I can do. And you're literally dead, all right? Paul V2 is crazy, all right? Let me know what you guys think. Look at this thing, man. It's just beautiful, right? Look at this trident. And you guys probably already know what we're doing, okay? In today's block shoots video, we're mastering a sword. And it's not a normal sword, okay? It's a legendary sword that you can obtain in the second C. But this sword is special because you get it from 
Magma Raid. Yes, you have to do some special raid type to actually obtain this sword, which is very interesting. But guys, in the last video, we unlocked the Body Sword, and oh my god, let me tell you guys, the Body Sword is insane. Like you guys might think, the Body Sword is actually not that good. Uh, I mean, I don't know why you would think that, but it's actually amazing, okay? Look at this, Z Slash, it's an amazing ability, and then we got this ability. Look at the range. I mean, okay, you can't see that, but it goes really far, okay? I'm not joking. This is one of the best swords I've seen. And I'm not sure if the new one that we're mastering today is gonna beat it, alright? Yeah, I doubt it. But guys, let's focus up, because today we're mastering the Coco Sword, okay? The Coco Sword is a sword meant for control fruit, okay? It's like a control fruit and a sword, like, meant to be together. And as you know, we already have control fruit, okay? We already have it mastered up, so if I go to my control fruit over here, let's see, where is it? It's right over here. If I go ahead and equip it, look at this. Everything is mastered up. So today, we're gonna be using Coco Sword with Control Fruit together and see what its max potential will be, alright? So, first things first, okay? We gotta get someone, okay? We gotta get someone, okay? Let's go to the mansion and Star is waiting, okay? Star, do you know what we're doing today? No? What are we doing today? Oh, well, you know that we're mastering swords, okay? And today, we're getting a special sword, which is the Coco Sword. I don't know if you have heard about it, but it's a control sword that you can use with Control Fruit, okay? It's a pretty special sword. And there was a special obtainment to it, okay? So, follow me, okay? We need to go to Port Town, okay? On Oh, wait. I forgot to roll off fruits. Uh, my home is set on Port Town as well, okay? I gotta wait. Gotta back to Mansion because we need to roll fruit, okay? Oh, sounds cool. Yeah, that's right, okay? Let's go roll off fruit. Maybe we can actually get a control fruit, okay? That would be funny. That would be funny. To be honest, let's see and we got a diamond fruit, okay? That's that's not a control fruit. That's... Here, you can take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> and you got a kilo. Kilo. You got a kilo fruit? No way, man. You got a kilo virus back at it again? Okay, yeah. You should run away from it, okay? There's no... It's gonna be haunting you, okay? Can I get good fruits? Yeah, I mean, you're really unlucky. I'm not even gonna lie. Anyway, anyway, let's go to Port Town because we need to go to another sea, which is the second sea. Because the Cocoa Sword is only obtainable in the second sea. So we're gonna go over here to that captain and uh, take me to the second sea, buddy. We have some business to do here. Now, sorry, you probably have never seen this area, okay? So prepare, okay? We're gonna go to... Okay, where was it again? Lava, right? Yeah, we need to go to lava and we need to actually go over here. So follow me because there is an actual secret area over here. Dude, you're almost dying to the lava. Watch out, man. Okay, wait, follow me, okay? Follow me. We have to go up this rock, okay? This weird rock which is over here, okay? We go over here. Yeah, follow me, okay? Look at this. There is a secret door over here. Yeah, we can go inside of it and there is a secret laboratory over here. Uh, did you even know this, bucko, huh? Did you even know this? Yeah, this is a secret lab, and this is a special raid that you can start. What is this place? Well, I just told you, okay? It's a special raid, which is the order boss, okay? But the only way to start this raid is to have a special microchip, okay? So follow me. We have to go to another secret area. She's gonna be right over here, okay? As you can see, this cast over here in the middle of the lava. If we go over here to the back of it, on the roof, there should be a secret door. Look at this. There's a secret door, and we can go inside of it. And there is this secret guy. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but there's this secret NPC that will give you you a bargain or something? Okay, let's see. Talk. Um, I want to buy a microchip for 1,000 fragments. Just so you know, this will turn out much better for me than it will for you. No refund. Wait, so you're just saying you're scamming me straight up to my face? <sighs> okay, I guess so, man. Hey, let, let's go and trade, okay? I get scammed, I guess, okay? And we just unlocked a new title, Mad Scientist. And we traded in 1,000 fragments for a microchip. Look at this. Now, you don't have to buy it yet, okay? We need to do a raid. Now, we have to go back to the secret laboratory to start the raid. Now, guys, if you're well informed about this, maybe you will think that you'll need a Fist of Darkness to start this raid, but no. That's only if you want a chance to get a core brain to unlock the Cyborg Grace. So we might get it in this video, okay? That'll be pretty cool as well, because I don't have that. So let's go over here and get in the portal, buddy. So we're about to start this raid, okay? We have the microchip, there you go, and let's go and start it, okay? All we have to do is press this button, and there you go. We got in the raid with the order. Oh, Oh, and he uses control fruit. Watch out. Wait, we need Buddha for this. We need Buddha for this, okay? Before we die, okay? If you guys don't know, the Coco Sword is obtainable. Oh, he's swinging around, okay? The Coco Sword is 5 to 10% chance, so we have a little chance to get it, okay? We have to be really lucky to get this. But that's no problem, because we gotta slash him and dash him, okay? Come here, buddy. Yeah, your control fruit makes no chance against the awakened Buddha, okay? Where, where you at, bro? He's hiding. He's, oh, he's slashing you up. Oh my god. All right, boss order. You are a special boss, but you're nothing other than a failure because you're about to die, okay? Whoa, chill, bro. Okay, take some of this. There you go. Oh, he's slashing star up. What the heck? I'm pretty sure it's already low HP. No, he's half. Okay, he's pretty tanky, actually. What the heck? He's insane in dodging things, okay? What the? He's like teleporting all over the place, okay? Let's see. Come on. Get some of this. Look at him. He's teleporting all over the place. Come on. Come here. Oh, he's even dodging my abilities. Okay, there you go. Take some of this. Hey? Oh my god, bro. Bro, can you stand still for a second, bro? Oh my god, bro. This guy is teleporting over the place. Come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. 
Take some of this. Take some of that. Wait. Oh, he's teleporting again. And where is he? Wait, he's literally 1 HP. Yeah, look at that. He's 1 HP and boom. We got a zebra cap. Okay, that's that's not a cocoa sword, okay? Yeah. And we got a new title, okay? The zebra cap. How much percent is that? Oh, the zebra cap is a 100% chance. So everyone will get it, okay? Um, And now we have to do this all over again till we get the cocoa sword, okay? So let's go and purchase another ticket for 1,000 fragments and let's try it again. This is gonna be expensive, bro. You guys better like and subscribe, okay? This is gonna be painful. At least if I don't get it fast. The good part is there's no cooldown, so we can just trade in 1,000 fragments for another raid ticket and start it again, okay? Imagine if this had a cooldown, okay? I would be literally dead waiting for another ticket, okay? Ain't no way. Anyway, let's climb up this thing and let's start another raid. Okay, ready up and let's start. Ooh, that's actually super fast when it's starting. There's no downtime or anything. We're just instantly in the boss. All right, control master, prepare to die because you're no chance for us, okay? You might be a crazy boss that uses control fruit, but oh, he's slashing me. No. Okay, let's see how much damage. I did nothing. Come on. Come here, buddy. All right, he's about to die. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? He's low HP. Come on. Take some of this. He's going all the way. Oh, he's slashing up star and... Oh, no way. I didn't get a Coco Sword. Wait, did you get it? Bro, what? You got the Coco Sword early. Oh my god. Second try, you got it, bro. There's no way. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, no. I got it, bro. What? How? Give me your luck. I need that, bro. Oh my god. What? Bro, I have to get it, man. Why did I get it? Okay. Let's do it again, okay? There's just no way. How does Star get it earlier than me? I guess he had, like, unlucky with fruits, and now he's lucky with swords. I guess. Okay, third time. Third time the charm, okay? No way this time I don't get it, okay? Please give me it. Guys, I can barely see a thing, okay? The Buddha glitch is really helping out a lot, okay? I think it's very beneficial. Not even gonna cap, okay? Like, I can't see the boss for a, like, second if I'm in Buddha. At least now I can see something, right? All right, third time's the charm. Come on, you're literally 1 HP. Come on, please, die, and... No, no way. I didn't get it this time as well. Like, what? There's just no way, okay? Let's go and do another one. Maybe fourth time the charm? Who knows? All right, we're here for the fourth time, okay? Hey, boss, give me your Koko sword or you don't want to know what happens, okay? You don't want to know what happens next, okay? Just give me it. Guys, I thought Big Mom was annoying. This is even more annoying, okay? He's teleporting all over the place. I can't even hit this guy, okay? This is so annoying, bro. Like, look at this guy. He's aiming, he's hitting me, and now he's teleporting. Like, what? Just stand still for a second so I can kill you. There you go, finally, okay? And yeah, He's gone again. Like, what is that? And he's 1 HP and... Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got it. Coco Sword obtained, okay? Oh my god. After the fourth try, finally. Well, actually, it wasn't even bad. Fourth try, uh, some people do probably 10 plus tries. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. I'm not even gonna lie. But sorry, you got it on the second try. That's pretty insane, okay? Let's go and try this sword, okay? And there it is. The magical Coco Sword, okay? Look at that. It looks sick, all right? In the case, it looks crazy. Let's go and equip it and... Ooh, look at that, bruh. Look at... It has like these plus things. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. And then it has this cool aura. Actually pretty cool. And then without the case, it's kind of like a standard sword. Not really too special. But in the case, it's actually sick. And now, guys, it's time to master this sword up to injection shot. Okay, look at this. We need to unlock electric stab, injection shot, and then we have the Koku sword mastered up. So for this, we gotta go back to the third C. Actually, guys, since every single boss is here, let's go and try Skull Island. Let's see how much this Tide Keeper gives over here. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. How much damage are we dealing? Let's see. One slash is 2.5k damage. That's it's not even that bad. Let's transform into Buddha and uh, let's kill this boss over here, okay? This boss has literally no chance, okay? Even though he can spawn in a sea beast and do all kinds of stuff, he's literally no chance. So let's go and slice him up and he's 1 HP. 1, 2, and a boom, okay? Let's see. How much mastery would that give us, though? Because this was a C2 boss, so I'm not expecting much, to be honest. The best boss in C2 will give us 100, okay? 120? I mean, not even that terrible. 120 mastery for one boss? I think that's W. Either way, we have to go back to the third C, so let's go to dog three and let's get back so we have to go over here and uh, longma hey wh why are you flat what the why was he flying okay anyway let's go and slash him up dash him up because we need some mastery okay so hey wait let me enable hockey real quick and you're gonna be dead within seconds okay look at that hp going away oh my god okay coco sword with buddha glitch i mean hey unstoppable okay and let's slash him up like that and let's see how much mastery please give me enough for this first okay there you go we got electric stab perfect okay we can try it out and starts right over here hey okay so 160 mastery and electric stab let's go and try it out okay three two one let's go oh what the heck? 4.1k damage like that? Wait a minute, what the heck was that? Wait, wait no really what, what what even happened okay let's see wait let me zoom out like that oh yeah, it's like control fruit, right? Like, it's like the slash on control fruit. It's exactly the same. I'm pretty sure it's called echo knife, but then with a sword. This looks sick. But guys, there's one question. What if I control the area like that? There you go. And now I use my cocoa sword. Will I do more damage? Oh, we're about to find out. Okay, let's see. 
No, 4.1k, same stuff. Will I get more range? Because I'm pretty sure you get more range. Let's see. Does it even work on the Z ability? See? All the way over there? No, actually, this Z ability is unaffected by the control area. I'm pretty sure it's injection shot that actually, like, has effects in the area. So we're gonna have to unlock this and try it out. Now for this, guys, you guys already know, okay? We gotta take a visit on Big Mom, as always. And she's already waiting, okay? Take some of this, buddy. Yeah. Take some of this. 4.4k. Wait, why is it more on bosses? Wait, do I do, do more damage on bosses than on people? That's pretty interesting. NK Queen is about to die. Look at that. Hey, a little bit of slash. And there you go. Okay, let's see. How much mastery will that give me, though? Because we need 300, okay? And we got 200. Why is it so much mastery, by the way? It's a C2 sword. It, it's not supposed to be 300, right? Like, that's insane. Even C3 swords have the same thing. But guys, I'm spending more Robux and more Robux for you guys, okay? You better smash that like, okay? And subscribe while you're at it. All right, K Queen, die. It's time to die because we need some mastery, right? And there you go. 322. Okay, so we should probably go to Longma now. And then we should have enough to actually test the last ability. All right, guys. Longma is about to die, okay? Yeah, I, I just started. But yeah, he's, he's about that, okay? He's about that. You can count him as that, okay? I like the little effect they added on the Coco Sword, like the light blue effect. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Like the Cavender, I think. Pretty cool. So, we're gonna kill this guy, and there you go. New skill available. Perfect, okay? And we just unlocked Injection Shot, which is the best ability of Coco Sword, but we have to have a huge area to test it on. And guys, before we test the last ability, we can actually upgrade the Coco Sword, which I forgot to do, all right? So, how much is one slash? That's 2.3. Wait, that's without hockey, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, how much? 2.8k almost, okay? 2.78. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slash up here, okay? Hey, chill, buddy. Chill, buddy. Chill, buddy. Hey, die, okay? There you go. Let's see. Sword, okay. And, oh, we got enough. Okay, easy. We didn't even have to check the, the ingredient. Okay, perfect. Okay, 15% extra damage. Craft it up, and there you go. Upgraded the weapon. Wait a minute. It already did 2.8k. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 3.2k. Wait, that's a... That sounds good. So what if I do electric stab? That's 5.3k damage. That is insane. Now, let's test the last ability. All right, so all we have to do is control the area, and apparently this last injection shot ability is gonna have way more range, damage, and everything. So, wait, should we even try it? Okay, let's go and try it without the control area first, okay? All right, let's see. What is this gonna do? Oh, oh, what the heck? A crosshair? What the heck? Am I playing Arsenal or something? Okay, anyway, shoots. Oh, 4.3k damage. Okay. So apparently this can get 10 times the range, but I'm not really sure what the range is. So let's go and try it from here. Let's see. I'm aiming. Boom. Okay, so that didn't hit you, okay, so, and what if I control the area, okay, we go all the way from the back of the area, let's see, okay, all the way from the back, I'm a sniper, okay, I'm a snipe you out of here, okay, wait, let me grab my Coco Sword, snipe, snipe, okay, zoom, boom, oh, we got him, what the heck, wait, that is insane, and it was an instant hit, so you have no delay by shooting, okay, you aim, boom, 4k, 4.5k? Wait, what? Wait, that's insane. All right, I already know what this is, okay? This is a perfect example for, like, look, okay? He's in the area. We can do this. Um, Okay, he dodges that. We can literally just get him like that, okay? Slash him up in the control area. Obviously, I don't have points on block shoots, but that's already the 1,000. What the... 1.5k without sw without points. Then we go here. Then we snipe him out like that. And yeah, it's actually insane, okay? I love the control plus Coco. It's actually insane. It pretty much has infinite range, okay? Imagine he's standing there. I do that, I do that, and then I do this. Boom. 4k damage. Bro, that's insane. I love the Coco Sword. If you have control food, obviously, mash it up. And then we also have this electric stab like that. Boom, and he's literally low HP. Yeah, this is amazing. Wait, the Coco Sword is amazing with control food, okay? It literally gives infinite range hacks. As you can see, today we're back on block shoots because today I have a special mission, okay? And in the last video, we unlocked the true triple katana, okay? A mission for me that has been accomplished. I have grinded literally weeks upon weeks to get this item, okay? You guys don't even want to know. Well, if you've been following the journey, you probably already know. But as you can see in my inventory, I have most of the swords and block shoots, okay? Most of the legendaries and most of the mythics. There's only like two mythicals missing, but in today's video, we're going to be unlocking a sword that's one of the hardest swords to obtain. And let me explain why. For this, you have to be very strong and you have to be in the third C. And oh boy, this is going to be a hard time, okay? I don't know if you guys already know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about the spiky tri 
item. In today's video, we'll be unlocking that one. Some people say it's a doe fruit sword, okay? Or yeah, trident or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna be attempting to unlock it, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna get it today. At least I'm gonna try to. I'm pretty sure, wait a minute, it's Star- Oh yeah, Star is here. And bro, 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 bro. You already knew I'm gonna record this video. That's why you grabbed your spiky trident. Now let's be honest, okay? Star, tell me how long did it take you to unlock that item, okay? I need to know. Because I don't know me spending hours upon hours, okay? This one already took so long, okay? I fought the Doe King three times. Wait, the Doe King? Wait, no way. Two times? Wait, that's not a lot. Wait, two times is kind of- Wait, that's insanely lucky. That's like 15% chance every time. That is insane. What the heck? Okay, yeah, you're lucky, okay? You're lucky. Now, give me some of that luck because I also need it, okay? Roll a fruit, okay? Roll a fruit real quick. Let's see who's luckier. If I get a better fruit, imagine I get a spiky trident super quickly. Let's see, okay? Let's see. Please. Block shoot, just, just bless me up, okay? Just bless me up. Bro, I'm not getting this spot. Oh! No, we rolled at the same time again? Bro, okay, this game is cursed. This game is cursed. I'm telling you, this game is- No, 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 no. Okay, but wait, it seems like we have the same luck. Does that mean I can get a spiky trident as well? Um, well, we're gonna find out, okay? But the first thing we have to do is go to Caitlyn, because here's where it all starts. There's two ways to get it. We have Drip Mama over here, and this guy will tell you how much NPCs there's left to open the portal. And the default is 500, as you can see, okay? And I'm, I'm not fighting 500 NPCs, okay? <laughs> there's no way. I'm gonna take the easy route. And also, there's another way of getting it, which is getting a god chalice and then pretty much doing this thing as well. And then making the god chalice a cocoa chalice at Chocolate Island, which is right over here. You guys know what this, like, door is, this portal with the door. And then you go over here to the sweet crafter and this guy will ask you if you can handle the doking. And you say yes. And this guy will say, I can exchange god chalice and 10 conjured cocoa for something worthy. You receive a cocoa chalice, which you can then turn into drip mama when the portal opens, whenever you have the 500 enemies down. And then you'll fight Doking for a 15% chance of getting the spiky trident. And if you don't have a Coco Chalice, you only have 5% of getting it. Yes, 5%. Now, luckily with the Game Pass, two times drop chance, it's 10%. But still, 10% each time I'm gonna fight the Cake Prince. I mean, this is gonna be super hard. But obviously, we're gonna get started with getting even the Cake Prince uh, spawned in. And that's gonna be a lot of server hopping for me. So I guess it's time to server hop. Oh, and hey, yo, a fruit has spawned. Hold on a minute. Where's this fruit? Is that a chocolate island? Oh, it is. Wait a minute. It's probably right, right here. It's a, it's a, it's a diamond fruit, bro. A di really, really game like block fruits. What is this, man? I never find good fruits, man. The diamond fruit, like, bro, who even wants that? Okay, let me drop that back on. Okay, all right, guys. The first public server, as you can see, and let's see what's the status, please. Okay, 284. Okay, look at that. Okay, so basically it's 500, but it's already 280. Okay, so it's already halfway. Um, but I'm not gonna grind these NPCs. Okay, so we gotta serve up again to hopefully find our very low number, and that's the easy way to get it. All right, next server. Let's check drip mama come on don't disappoint me okay oh 70 oh wait did i just see someone fly did i what is that guy do oh this guy has a good gaming chair what the heck wait he has a rainbow gaming chair what i want one as well man look at that crazy gaming chair he has oh my look at that okay that is insane hey i'm not complaining okay if he unlocks the portal for me i'm i'm a good chick. um 51 okay I, I can just stay here doing nothing i guess let the people with the good gaming chairs do it for me you know what i'm saying all right let's check it up again let's see come on already close any close eight more enemies okay it's getting really close now eight more to go and the portal spawns i'm not really sure if it's by itself, but we'll see. Oh, dimension is spawned. Okay, we need to be fast. We need to be fast. Okay, come on, get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, we're the first one here. There we go. We need to fight this guy. We need to fight this guy. Come on, come here, buddy. Bro. Uh, okay, the, the, the gaming chair guy killed me. Why is my avatar different? Okay, bro, bro. Block shoots. Please fix this. What is with Buddha? Bro, I have a. What the? I have a glitch, Buddha. I have a glitch, Buddha. Okay, what the heck is happening? Get him, get him, get him. Wait, why is my Buddha glitched? Come on. Like that? Uh, guys, I don't know what's going on. It's glitching all over the place. Come on, I need Buddha. I'm small with Bo What is happening? Oh, bro, I am cursed. I am cursed. What is happening with my avatar, bro? Everything is cursed, okay? Everything is going not according to plan. Like, oh my god. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come fight me, bro. Come fight me, bro. Oh, 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 I'm getting kind of... Okay, come on. Okay, I'm about to die because Buddha doesn't work for some reason, bro. Okay, okay, I need to run. 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 Maybe if I unequip a fruit and equip it, let's see. And now transform. It still doesn't a work. All right, guys. I've never been so cursed, okay? This is really bad, okay? So this. There you go. Okay, I'm about to die. I feel like I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't fight a Doe King without Buddha. Like, what the heck? I know what I can fight it with. Come on, Doe. Come on, please. Oh, I'm in combat. What the heck? Okay, Doe Fruit. There you go. Now we can fight. Now we can fight him. Now we can fight him. There you go. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. 
Take some of these donuts, okay? Take some of these donuts. Take my fighting style, little bro. Okay, you're about to die. I know you're the dope prince, but still, okay? Take some of that. There you go. Easy. Oh, wait, that was the guy. Wait, what? I'm just attacking some random person. What the heck? Oh, he's dying. He's dying. He's dying. Okay. And we got a pal scarf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get it. Okay. I guess next server we go. All right. We're in a new server. It's a nice day. It's all good. Drip Mama. Come on, please. 447. Aww. Okay. Next server we go. We pretty much need to do this until we find the right servers to fight Cake Prince and then hopefully get the spiky trident. Yeah. Wish me luck. Okay, guys, guys. We're on the second cake prince i don't know where this guy is oh it's lagging bro it's lagging so hard i don't know okay this guy i think i don't know where the cake prince is i'm just slashing some random people i think i have actually no clue where am i bro why is my screen red where is he okay he's wait, he's red. okay no 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 no, no, no. Okay, bro i'm lagging so hard okay yeah i'm gonna just combo yeah i think normal people are killing me i think i don't know to be honest but bro these battles are always so chaotic like what is even happening everybody's just getting abused by the boss like what i just killed someone i don't even know what's going on okay i just killed someone i have absolutely no idea. Let's see for you quick. There you go. Bro, it's so like, if I'm saying, like, I have 10 FPS. Guys, I literally have 10 FPS. I literally, <laughs> what is happening? My PC is about to explode or something. <laughs> Who am I even fighting against? Like, everybody's right there, so I guess I, I'll just fight over here. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm doing damage, right? Bro, what is even happening, okay? Guys, I have 5 FPS. I'm not even joking. Like, I can't even hear myself right now talk. Like, th the sounds are too loud. Like, what is even happening? Everybody has Buddha on. And, uh, oh my god. Let's see. Come on, please. Ah, uh, no. Okay, we got Pal Scarf. So we didn't get Spiky Trident. Bruh! That is so unlucky. That was a chaos, though, okay? That was insane. Oh, well, we didn't get Spiky Trident, but there's a fruit in this lobby. So let's see what it is. It should be somewhere. Oh, man. I already know. It's a revive fruit. Are you kidding me, Block Shoots? The second fruit I find. Like, bruh. Drop that. Yeah, I don't need that. All right, on to the next server. All right, let's see. Next server, next server. Please, please, please. Okay, please, please. Oh, 24 enemy. Wait, what the heck? Wait. Okay, easy. All right, please give me the Spiky Trident so I don't have to do this anymore. Like, this is annoying. All right, let's see. Is that enough? Is that enough? Please, is that enough? Let's see. Oh, five more enemies. And now we can spawn the Cake Prince. All right, that should be four. And pretty much the last one. And let's check it out. Let's see. Okay, please. Can we get in? Okay, we have defeated enough enemies. Do you want to open a portal now? Yes. I dimension has spawned. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We gotta be quick. Okay, there's Mr. Dome. There you go. Let's go ahead and beat him up real quick before anyone joins because there's a lot of people coming this way already. You missed. Okay, you literally missed. Okay, I don't even know you can miss. Like, this guy always. Okay. Well, okay. Okay, buddy. This is one of the elite bosses in Block Shoots, and you usually fight them with people, but I'm solo, okay? Nobody. Okay, there's one person. Okay, there you go. Bro, I'll never understand why people don't ally. Bro, this guy is not allying me, and he's just hitting me at this point. Like, bro, what? What is this guy doing? Okay, let's just transform, I guess. We need reinforcements. Come on. Okay, there you go. We got another one. Nobody is allying. Why is nobody allying? This is so weird. And we didn't get anything. Yeah. Time for the next server, I guess. Dude, the mansion spawned. The mansion spawned. Come on. Okay. Bro, I killed someone. I didn't even mean to. Like, what is happening? Why is nobody, like, allying up? Like, what? Come on, Cake Prince. Go ahead and die for me real quick. There you go. I need that spiky trident. And my FPS is going down again. Like, bruh. What is even happening? Bro, the sounds, man. The sounds are way too loud. Like, oh. Bro, I just walk in it. No. Come on, he's low HP. Come on, finish him off, finish him off. There you go. He's right there. Bro, it's such a chaos. Like, what is happening? Bro, I can't even follow what's going on, but I can only see the boss, okay? I'm fo focusing on the boss. I'm focusing on the boss. Come on. He's right there. He's right there. He's in the sky. And... Come on. No, nothing. Really? Uh, next server, I guess. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure we can actually activate it. Let's see. Okay, we have defeated all of enemies. Yes. Let's spawn it. Okay, the mansion has spawned. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, where's this doking at? There you go. And... Uh, or I mean cake prince at, right? Okay, and there you go. Let's beat him up real quick. There you go. And let's hopefully get his spiky trident, bro. It's been like four servers, okay? I've been grinding for hours, and this is one of them, okay? This is like the fifth server. Or the fifth cake prince I'm attempting. Hopefully, I'll get it. Come here, buddy. Look at all these Buddhas. Like, <laughs> everybody just has awakened Buddha ready. This is literally Buddha simulator. And everybody gets stunned at the same time. Like, <laughs> what the heck? And what is this light user doing, bro? He's not even doing any damage. And there's another Buddha that joined us up. Oh my god. And another Buddha. What the heck? What is happening? The raid was almost dead. Come on. Let's finish him off. Where is he? Where is he? I can't even see him. Come on. And we 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 didn't get it. We we did it. Bruh, still no spiky trident. Like, what? How many do I have to attempt? Like, what? I guess, guys. Next server, next server. Dimension has spawned. Okay, let's go. Come on. Please, spiky trident. The sixth time. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come here, Cake Prince. 10% chance. Come on. Please be the one, okay? Hey, guys. The boss is low. Come on. Last bit of damage. Take some of that. Take some of this. Take some of this. And you should be that. Come on. 
No, he's not that. Bro, look at him. He's 1 HP. And go ahead and die. Come on, do I get it? Did I Bro, bro, no way. No way I didn't get it. No way I didn't get it. Like, what is this? It's like the most unlucky stuff ever, man. Oh my god. All right, let's see the next one. I'm pretty sure. Let's see the next server. Okay, there we go. Enough enemies. And let's summon the portal. There we go. A dimension has spawned. And now let's kill the cake prince once again. Please give me the spike you tried in this time. Just, just please, all right? All right, come on. He's almost dead. Come on, come on. He's 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP. Come on, take some of this. And uh, what? We didn't get it. Uh, we didn't get it. I guess next server. Hey, yo, what is Star doing here? What is... Yo, look what I found. You did not find that. There's no way. I was in this server. What? Wait, you actually found... What? Yo, yo, give me that. Yo, it's a spirit fruit. How did you find it? I was already in this server. Like, bro, what? A mythical fruit? I mean, hey, take it, okay? It's yours, but damn. At sea castle. Well, congrats then, I guess. What the heck? A mythical fruit? I was in the server, though. Why did I get a notification? Like, I think my fruit notifier is bugged or something, yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure we can open it right now. Let's see next server, please. Oh, shoot. We can actually open it, okay? Let's see. Yes. And that mansion has spawned, okay? Eighth try, I guess. Let's see, where is this guy at? Okay, there we go. Let's see. Transform Buddha. And let's stash him up, okay? Come here, buddy. Come here, Cake Prince. You have no chance, okay? And everybody's getting stunned, bro. Okay, come on. He's really low. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? I think he's... Wait, where is he? Where is he? Okay, yeah, he's there. And we did it. No, nothing. Not... Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Where, where is the spiky trident, bro? Star, I cannot get it. What is this? This is the eighth time fighting. I'm about to start lose hope, man. Guys, it's already open. It's already open. What the heck? What? Wait, someone is soloing the, the boss? What the heck? Yo, guys, this guy has a crazy gaming chair. I don't know what's going on with this guy, bro. Oh my god, he can fly? Yo, I need to have that uh, gaming chair. Oh, I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. And another user came through. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm about to die, bro. What the heck, man? And I'm dead because he has a better gaming chair. Nice, man. Dude, I need to get a better chair. Okay, come on. We have him dead and bro. Bro, where is the spike he tried? Bro, what is this game? It was the ninth kill. Okay, I'm, I'm about to give up, guys. I'm about to give up. Like, for real. Like, what is this, man? Okay, guys, another portal is open. Let's see if this is the one. The one, the tenth one, by the way, guys. This is the tenth one, okay? Uh, let's see, where's this guy? Oh, I have five FPS. What is going on? Dude, how do people play this? I, I killed someone. Like, that's an accident, man. Guys, nobody's allying. Literally, nobody's allying. Like, everybody's just fighting. Like, bro, what? Another kill? Like, bro, I I'm not trying to fight, guys. I'm not trying to fight. Like, what is happening, man? And another kill from me? Like, bro, I just killed three people, like, by accident. Like, bro. I got another kill. Like, what is going on, bro? I'm killing players upon players, but I'm trying to kill the balls. Dude, no way. And another... Bro. People are just enabling PvP. Like, why? They're just straight up dying. What the heck? Man, come on, come on. It's almost dead. Yeah, I'm seeing him. He's 1 HP. Come on. And that should finish him off. <gasps> yes! Yeah, oh my god, 10th, oh my god, 10th, right, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, god, I'm not gonna get it, yes, wait a minute, there's a fruit here, let's see, what is it, it's a, oh, never mind, it's a light fruit that looks like a Buddha from the distance, what the heck, it's a light fruit, okay, oh, I guess I can throw it in the ocean, right, and there you go, bro, star, 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 look at this, okay, look at this, 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 I got it, stop disrespecting my fruit, bro, what do you mean, it was a light fruit, okay, it's, it's a light fruit, you, you're a star, I mean, it's not a star fruit, is it? It is a star apple. Bro, what? Light fruit is not an apple, is it? Anyway, look at this. Spiky trident. Finally, the best PvP item ever. And unlock the best abilities, okay? Which is upgrading, okay? Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It took so long. Like, 10 cake princes, okay? It took so long. But we finally got it. Now, all we have to do is get the abilities and upgrade the sword. Is this even a sword? It's a. It's more like a trident, I guess. Alright, guys. We're back in the third C with the spiky trident, okay? And it took so long getting this. I defeated 10 cake prints in literally like the last three hours, okay? But anyway, yeah, let me just show you guys. I can literally spin another fruit, okay? The last time I rolled, it's also with star, okay? Let's see. Random fruit, buy, and yeah, I can literally roll again. Look at that. <laughs> and he as well, bro. It took so long, okay? There you go. Revive in dark. I mean, doo doo fruits. But it's time to test the damage on the spiky trident. So let's see what this thing does. As I mentioned before, it's known as the doe sword, okay? And it has doe abilities, but let's go and try it out. Let's see, hockey on. Let's see. That does 2.5k. What the heck? Wait. 
Level one? Wait, that is one of the highest damages I've seen. That is insane. Now let's go and get these two abilities, which is Doe Hurricane and Flying Trident Pearl. And these abilities are apparently really good in PvP. So I need to unlock these. Because I'm actually doo-doo at PvP. Guys, look at the Buddha glitch. Bro, the spiky trident with the Buddha glitch. This looks so cool. What the heck? It's not even in my hand anymore. Look at that. I, I, it's literally floating. Anyway, Longma, it's time to die, okay? Yo, I'm erasing his HP, bro. He's already low. What the heck? I did not expect Spiky Trident to be this good, okay? All right, Longma, you're literally one HP. Let's slash you and dash you up. And there you go. Let's see. Please, just give me all your mastery so I can already unlock my moves. And we got up to 140 mastery, okay? So that's pretty good. Now we need to go to Big Mom. To actually go ahead and get enough. All right, let's see. What's up, Big Mom? I got a new sword. And I'm about to kill you with it, okay? So die. Okay, there you go. A few more hits. And there you go. Okay, new skill available, okay? We got the first skill, which is Do Hurricane, okay? Let's go and try this one out. All right, let's see. Three, two, one, and... Oh my... 4.7k? What? Wait, that is so sick. I just grab you and you can't do anything, okay? Wait, I want to try a combo. Come here. What if I do this and I switch this one and I do this? Oh, yo. Okay, this is actually really nice. But now we have to kill Big Mom a few more times to actually get the second move. But first, all right, let's see how much do we need. Blacksmith, come on. Upgrade my sword. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, we need five of these droplets. Luckily, I do know where they are. These are, I'm pretty sure, at the school island in the second sea. Other than that, we have enough scrap metal and these cocoa beans for a total of 9% damage. Wait. Why 9%? Why, why not just 10? Um, I guess that'd be. But first, let's go ahead and unlock the second ability so we can then upgrade the sword. Okay, Longman, go ahead and uh, die. Let's see. Wait, bro. He, he dodged my attack. Come on. Here we go, die, and he's dead, okay, 289, okay, it's been a while, and we're almost there, and I'm pretty sure if we fight Big Mom, we can actually go ahead and get the last ability, come here, okay, queen, I'm gonna slash you and dash up, okay, give me your mastery, because I need it for the last ability, the damage on this thing is actually really, really nice, look at that, she's almost already dead, let's do the last one, and oh my god, look at that, 299, that's like one more mastery to go, let's see if these chefs will give us enough, and there you go, okay, new skill available, and that means we unlock the flying trident pearl the best ability the spiky trident has which is the best pvp sword so we're gonna try it out okay three two one okay wait i'm gonna have to try it again so i guess i can just do that oh i can pull you okay that makes sense okay that's in the name that's that's cool that's cool like oh, you can just pull me and combo me like that oh yeah what is the range on that let's see oh my bro that is insane. How much? Uh, what? And it has eye damage? Like, bro, this is insane. Obviously, most of the times you want to be fighting with your fruits, so you're not going to have points on the sword. But still, the damage is insane on the sword. And we still have to upgrade the sword to test even more damage, okay? And here we are on Skull Island, where we have to fight these NPCs for them to give us us droplets, okay? So give me all your droplets, okay? Come here, grab you real quick. And the first try, Mystic Droplet, okay? This is a good start. Four more to go. All right, there you go. That's another one. And there you go. We got another one, and that's gonna be the last one, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Five. And now we have to go to Dogs 2 to visit the blacksmith. Now, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've grinded, like, five hours for this, okay? It's been, like, four to five hours for unlocking the spiky trident and now upgrading it, okay? And there you go. We can finally upgrade this weapon, and let's craft it. There you go. And now, let's check the damage. All right, so normal slash was 2.5k at the beginning, and now it is... Let's see... 3k okay okay that's like a 500 increase ability i don't really recall but let's see how much 5.4k that is pretty insane bro like straight up if you just hit that like 5.4k that's insane and then this one which is the pro ability 5k as well bro look at his hp yeah this is really one of the best legendary swords in my opinion okay yeah the best for pvp at least maybe not for grinding because it doesn't have aoe moves but it is amazing now we can finally become a doe god okay look at this dose and the doe spiky trident okay all right guys welcome back to another blocks fruits video and you guys might be wondering why are you on this bacon account well yeah, that's probably the first thing you're gonna say. Long story short, I've recorded this video, uh, but uh, yeah, it, it had no mic. Okay? It had no no sound. So I, I have to do this all over again on a new account, all right? Yes, all right, guys. It's, it's a pain, okay? It's a pain. But we're gonna do it because otherwise you guys have no video, okay? So in the last video, we awakened or we mastered the Hallow Side, okay? And the Hallow Side, it's actually an amazing sword, okay? It's a mythical sword. It doesn't do much damage, but the abilities are pretty insane. Now, I don't have it on this account, but in today's block shoot, video we're gonna be mastering a sword from the third sea a sword that has been made by a soul yeah i don't know what that means but yeah we're gonna master it okay and the sword that i'm talking about is the 
buddy sword, okay? The buddy sword, a sword that has been created by a soul. And if you guys look closely, okay, check this out. It literally has a face. Like, what? What sword has a face? Like, I just noticed whenever I pulled it out, like, what is that? It's pretty crazy. And some people say it's an OP sword. So we're gonna be bashing it. And Star, are you ready? Oh, you also said the buddy sword. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, okay? We're gonna be mastering the buddy sword and seeing if it's OP, okay? And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started by rolling a fruit because why not? Let's see. All right, trade completed. And we got the spin fruit. Okay, spin fruit. Oh, that's so doo-doo. Oh, my God. Anyway, we gotta get started, right? So, there's... Wait, let's go and test the slash, right? Let's see how much damage it does because I'm pretty interested. All right, let's put hockey on and let's see. Three, two, one. Boom. <sighs> Yeah, 37, guys. That's, uh, that's right. I gotta refund my stats again. And this account has no Robux, bro. After this, I have 17 Robux left. Oh, my God. I'm broke, guys. I'm broke. <laughs> no. I have no Robux left after this. Wait, how am I gonna respawn the bosses? And I'm... Wait. Why do I have... Wait. Wait, I'm max level, but I don't have max points. Wait, what? Okay, wait. Let's do that. Oh, no. I do have max. Wait, wait why was it so weird? Anyway, let's see. Okay, so one slash is 2.3k damage. That's not much, okay? I'm like... Yeah, that's not much. Okay, buddy sword we're gonna see if you're any good all right because I don't know if you're any good but the first thing we gotta do is go ahead and upgrade a sword let's see if we can even upgrade okay start take me to port time because on this account I don't have permanent port all right all right there you go and let's go to the blacksmith over here let's see so he should upgrade my sword and I do have enough oh my god bro this account is stacked what the heck okay 40 20 dude I have everything okay hey let's go and craft this and boom bada beam bada boom upgraded weapon to grade one and now let's see how much damage we did we did like 2.3k and now we do 2.7 hey that's improvement that's improvement that's nice and it's still mastery one okay guys so if you guys don't know okay some swords scale a lot of damage while mastering okay so when when this hits 300 mastery right because we need 300 mastery it can become super overpowered all right guys let's go and take a visit on longma right let's see if he likes the sword okay hey what's up longma i know you're strong okay but you're not stronger than me okay Whoa, what the heck stop flinging me around okay it's not a joke okay hey take some of this okay take some of this you're at that okay you're that okay yeah you think you're good all right you think you're good take some of this take some of that there you go and you're gonna be dead without even knowing, okay? So, let's take slash, slash, slash. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, chill, chill. Ow, ow, what the heck? Come on. Die already, bro, bro, bro. I'm almost dead. Uh, no, 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 no. 500. <gasps> No, I'm dead. Bro, what is this stats? Am I... Bro, bro. I have every good stat. Why did I die there? What is going on? All right, love my You already that, okay? Low HP. Take some of this. Take some of that. Then die. No. Ow. What is this? Come on. Die. Hey, finally, bro. After you killed me, I have to take revenge, okay? So there you go. And how much mastery will we get, okay? Please. Give me like 140, okay? It keeps going up, guys. It keeps going up all the way. And... And 135, okay, so we need to fight another boss. All right, elephant, it's time for you to die, all right? I need your mastery, okay? I need your mastery, so take some of this. Oh, chill. Take some of that. Hey, superhuman. Come on, take some of this. Here we go. I don't, why don't I even have god human on this account? What the heck, man? Well, god human is kind of insane to get, okay? So let's go and take some of this. Oh, bro, chill. Ow. All right, elephant, it's time for you to die, all right? You're 1 HP, so take some of this, take some of that, and let's go. New skill available. So we need to try this heat slash, okay? He's, that sounds kind of cool, right? Let's see how much damage it does, or what it even does, okay? Heat slash. So I'm guessing, like, it's a crazy, like, heat slash. I mean, the name says it's all, okay? So star, come here and test it out. All right, let's see. It's time. Heat slash. Slash, three, two, one, and go. Ooh, oh, oh, wait, wait, what's that damage? 6.1k damage, what? Why is that damage so high? What is going on? 6.1k damage in one hit, bro. See, again? Oh my god, two slashes without hockey and you're literally up to 10% HP. What the heck is this sword? This sword is insane, bro. I'm already excited for the second ability now. What? What is this like flying slash? Like, it's like an instant Rengoku hit. Like, I mean, it's Rengoku, but then much better. I can't believe it. What the heck? This is actually insane. Like, it has range quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, kind of range. It has a crazy hitbox, and then... Uh, you're gonna burn to death. What the heck? Okay, the first ability impressed me, okay? Now the second one, a lightning wave. Why is there a heat slash and randomly a lightning? Like, electricity and fire? I mean, hey, I'll take it, I guess. But guys, we need to take a visit on K Queen, all right? And she's right here waiting. And wait, she has the same sword, but why is there so much bigger? What? Look at that. Wait, why? She's literally using the Buddha glitch. Like, why is her sword so big? Like, look at this. Mine is way smaller. What the heck? 
But guys, the reason we're here, we need to unlock a lightning wave. And that's 300 mastery, right? So we need to kill K-Queen a bit times, all right? So K-Queen, die, okay? I'm gonna kill you with your own sword, okay? Give me some of your mastery. All right, K-Queen, you're low. You're literally low, okay? Take some of this, take some of that, and take your slash. Wait, take some of this, okay? Yeah, I can do it back, all right? And you're literally dead, okay? You're literally dead, okay? There you go. Easy peasy. And that brought me all the way up to 195. But we need way more than that to actually get the next ability, all right? And I have no Robux, all right? So Star, I think you gotta spawn this one in, all right? Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, Queen, respond, and it's time to die, all right? It's time to die, okay? Take some of your own abilities, okay? Take some of that. There you go. There you go. Easy. All right, kick queen is one HP. Take some of this and take your last ability like that, and you're gonna burn to that. Come on, you're gonna burn to that. No, you're not. Okay, one more slash. There you go. You're death. And that got us to 220 mastery, which isn't even that bad, all right? And oh, she's back. She's back. And kick queen is once again low. So let's go and take that. Take that. Take some of this. There you go. I'm gonna burn to death. Come on, burn to death. Oh, she burned to death. <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually so funny. I'm just burning her with her own ability, okay? <laughs> what the? But now it's time to defeat her once again, because we're not done here, okay? We're not done here. We need some mastery, okay? And Kick Queen is here again. Come on, here. Take some of this. Take some of that. Come on. No, bro. No. Come on. Take some of this. Take some of that. And you're dead. You're literally dead. You're literally dead. There you go. Hey, should we angel transform? Angel transform. Oh my god, that looks so insane. Bro, angel v4 must be one of the coolest looking ones. Like, what is that? I'm literally flying with a sword, okay? I'm an angel with a sword. But take some of this, buddy. Yeah, you're dead, alright? You're dead. And K Queen is almost dead. Come on. Take some of that. Take some of this. Take some of the flying slash. And you're dead. You're dead again. You're dead again through the flames, okay? Again. Ah, uh, that feels so good, alright? Killing Big Mom with her own abilities, alright? K Queen, once again low. Take some of this sword. Your own sword, okay? Take some of that. There you go. You should be dead, okay? You should be dead. And you're gonna burn to that. Come on. Oh, you shouldn't burn to that. Okay, I guess just slash it up like that. And 283. We need some more. We need some more. And Kate Queen is all the way up to low HP. Let's see. Can I can I go over the ability? Come on. There you go. Take some of this. Burn. Burn. Burn to. Come on. Oh, she's gonna die. Come on. You know what? Let's go and try it once again. Let's go and try. Boom. And now you're dead. <laughs> and we need five more mastery to get the last ability called Lightning Wave. So I guess we can kill Longmar or something. And Longmar, here I am, okay? Your time has come. It's about time you die, okay? It's about time, okay? Take some of this, buddy. Take some of this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're gonna burn to death like your other friend, okay? Yeah, Quake Queen. So take some of that. Take some of this. There you go. And you're literally 1 HP. Take some of that and burn to death. Come on. And he's burned to death as well. Look at that new skill available. There you go. And we unlocked the last skill called Lightning Wave, right? I'm excited for this one because the first one was already insane. It did crazy damage. Like 300 mastery. Let's see how much damage does it do. Um, oh wait, ally. Yeah, start. Take me to mansion, right? Take me to mansion. We're gonna test it over here, okay? So let's see how much the heat stash does again. Let's see. That does, let's see, four... Wait, what? Wait, why is it doing less? Wait a minute. Wait, let's gonna try it again. Come on, like this. How much? Oh, wait. Wait, why is it doing more now? What? 6.3k, yeah, that, that was exactly the amount. Okay, so that didn't change. But what about this lightning wave ability? Okay, let's see. Oh, you're already pretty low. That's pretty bad. Anyway, let's go and try it out, okay? Three, two, one, and... Oh! 4.5k in one hit? That was an instant hit. It was the ability that Big Mom uses. The, like, crazy beam that always hits somehow. Wait, what's the range on this thing? Let's see. What's the range on this thing? What? What the? Bro, what? Why is it so long? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, Star, go all the way there. Let's see. Can I hit you from all the way over here? Let's see. No way, right? No way. No! 6k. Wait, what? Why am I doing even more than that? Wait, it, it did 4.5k and now it did 6,000? So the further the enemy is, the more damage you do. And you're already low HP by just spamming some abilities. What? That's insane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the heck? The buddy sword is a crazy sword. What? Like, nobody's talking about this. Is this a sword or a gun? True. What is that? Like, you're shooting a whole beam? True. This looks better than my soul guitar. <laughs> I mean, it's a sword and a gun in one, okay? It's a sword gun. Not even gonna lie, okay? You can shoot beams up to, like, crazy distances and you can like do heat slashes i guess you have an ring goku ability i mean this is just crazy okay wait which one goes further which one goes further let's see soul guitar versus body sword okay three two one and go oh soul guitar goes further but mine is more instant i feel like all right three two one and go 
Yeah, mine is more instant, okay? I did it after you and mine reached faster. But your goes a little further, okay? But I think the buddy sword is underrated. Like, what is this sword? We're becoming the best swordsman alive, okay? And today is another day that we're gonna be mastering a mythical sword. Which the sword that we're gonna be mastering is the dark dagger, okay? It's a small, it's the smallest sword in the game, okay? Yeah, it's the smallest sword in the game. And usually people meme it, but it's a smaller version of the of the dark blade, okay? The this dark blade over here. And I'm gonna be mastering that into today's video and unlocking its full potential and powers so we can see what it is all about okay i didn't got it it's too hard yet also guys it's the rarest sword you can get okay it's one of the hardest ones and i'll tell you guys later on why but first we're gonna roll a fruit in a first seat and give it to a random noob i think this guy uh I think this guy needs a fruit <laughs> Yeah, I think he needs a fruit, okay? Okay, let's go to a jungle, okay? Let's see, jungle. Okay, there's one person here, okay? I I'm pretty sure... Wait, okay, yes, awakened Buddha for some reason. Okay, let's go and roll fruit right here. Come on, let's see. It's... Oh, oh my god, bro, I got a quick fruit. I got a quick fruit. Okay, okay, that's perfect for the noob. At least it's a legendary fruit, okay? I'm gonna give a legendary fruit to a noob. Let's see, starter island, and there's... Bro, where's noob? I don't want this guy to, to like, steal it. Where's the noob? No, the... Wait, did the noob leave? Wait, where is he? Uh, oh, he's right here. He's right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go and drop him a fruit. Wait, he's standing like that, bro. What? What is he doing? Is he here? Is he here? Let's see. I don't know if he's here. I don't want to drop. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Eat that. Eat that. Eat it. Eat it. Bro, he got a quake fruit. Look at him. Oh my, bro. Look at him walk. What the? What is wrong, bro? What the heck? Oh, bro. What are you doing, bro? Eat the fruit, man. He did. No, he's gonna die with it. Bro, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Okay, I heard it. I heard it. He ate it. Yo, he got a quake fruit. Oh my god. The first ever level 10 person to get a quake fruit. <laughs> okay, guys, my job is done. Okay, this bacon hair just received a legendary fruit. He probably doesn't even know. Okay, but now you have to become the best player. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if quake fruit is gonna be that good for the first C, but I think he got it. Okay, I think he got it. Okay, he's, um, yeah, he's teleporting around and he wait, what is that walk? It's like a. What is that? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna become the best pirate, okay? I believe him. I believe him, okay? Anyway, let's go back to the third C because we need to master something, okay? Now, if you guys have been watching the series, you guys know that I told you guys that this is technically the rarest one. I mean, the hollow scythe. Because as you guys know, to get the hollow essence, you pray, right? You pray at this, like, graveyard. I mean, obviously at the night. Or you go to this guy if you have bones and you just roll the spins, okay? But the bones are super expensive, okay? Because you gotta kill a bunch of NPCs to even get bones. And then once you roll a random surprise, you might get a very small chance that you get the hollow essence to spawn a boss in which has 2.5 percent of dropping this item so technically this is one of the rarest ones but not really on paper because you get 10 spins which is 2.5 percent chance which is like 25 percent chance every two hours that you get a hollow essence and you guys told me that the dark dagger is the rarest to get well it's technically not the rarest and i'll get into that later on the video but first i need to show you guys how to even get the dark dagger so to get the dark dagger as you guys know obviously See, the cast on the sea has this crazy area where Rip Indra spawns. Now, Rip Indra is the guy that actually drops this dark dagger, which is as well a 2.5% chance, so exactly the same percentages. But here's the thing, getting a god chalice to summon Rip Indra is easier technically than getting a hollow essence. And, and let me explain, okay? So the hollow essence, you have 25% every two hours to get it, which that's all you get, okay? You can get more spins, and maybe if you get more accounts, but just, just take in consideration one account. Now for the god chalice, you guys know how you can kill elite pirates? Well, every single elite pirate has a 2% chance of dropping a god's chalice. And if you have a game pass, the two times drop chance, you get a total of 4% drop chance. That means if you kill 10 elite pirates in one hour, you will have 40% chance of getting a god's chalice, which is more often than hollow essence. So technically, the hollow sight is way more rare than the god's chalice, because you have way more chance of getting a god's chalice from defeating elite pirates. And guys, let me tell you, um, yeah, I, I have it, okay? I have it. Where is it? Okay, wait, I lost it, I lost it. Oh, there you go. The Dark Dagger, look at that. Now, if you're wondering how I got this, well, if I remember correctly, it, it was my first try, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I got it on the first try, okay? This was the only item in the entire game that I pretty much got first try. And I didn't even know that I got it. Like, I randomly saw that in my inventory and I was like, wait, isn't this like a boss drop? As you guys can see, we have Mastery 1 on the Dark Dagger. And we're gonna be getting both attacks, okay? And the max attack is 
three iron mastery, which isn't even that bad. And bro, look how tiny it is, bro. This this is the smallest sword. Is this even a sword? How am I gonna be slashing people up? It's like it's smaller than my hands, bro. What is this? I gotta show you Star. Okay, Star, check this out, bro. Check my sword, bro. What is this, man? Look how small it is. How? <laughs> What's that? A pocket knife? I, I'm telling you guys, this is like smaller than a pocket knife. Like, what is this? Like <laughs> this is so small. And apparently it's the same hitbox as any other sword. Oh, oh, look at that effect. Oh, oh, this is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Like some green, green stuff. That looks like a toy. <laughs> you sure? Bro, yeah, it does look like a toy, to be honest, bro. Look how small this is. But I'm chop you up, okay? Hold up, man. Let me let me enable hockey for this. Let's see. Let's see the damage, okay? Ch chill. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me test the damage. 2.2k. Wait, 2.2k. I don't know about that one. Is that good? 2.2k for level mastery one? Maybe that's good, to be honest. Maybe that's good. I'm not really sure, though. But it looks cool, okay? Look at the effects, bro. This looks decent, okay? I can chop you from, like, this. Okay, wait. Is the hitbox, like, smaller? No, I don't think it's smaller, right? But the thing is, look how speedy I am with this. Look how fast. Yeah, exactly. It's super fast chopping speed, okay? All right, guys, but first things first. Obviously, we got the knife already. And we need proficient impulse skill, which is 150 mastery, okay? So we need to kill, like, Longma for this. Let's see if we can chop up Longma with this. Oh, yeah, and guys, I have a very fun fact. Look at that. The thing on my neck, that's the Dark Dagger, okay? It literally looks like an accessory, okay? This is one of the only weapons that looks like an accessory while you have it in your inventory. And then once you pull it out, it's gone from your neck. It looks sick, though, okay? It looks sick. Even though it's so small, it looks crazy. I do like the cross neck. This, okay, I do like it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm excited to see what does it look like with the Buddha glitch. Bro, 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 bro. Let's see. <laughs> what the? Yo, what is this? Yo, this looks so weird, bro. What is happening? Why is it so weird? Okay, Ooh, what, where are you at, Longma? He's not here. He's not here. We need to spawn him in. It looks so weird because this might be a real sword or this might be a glitch sword. Like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it doesn't look that big. Okay, let's, so let's see. Let's chop him. 2k damage. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Let me. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, chill, chill, buddy, chill, buddy. Yo, you're gonna get chopped up, okay? You're gonna get chopped up like this, okay? Here you go. Bro, the abilities are so cool, okay? Come here, long ma, chop you up, okay? Ugh, come on. I'm gonna chop you up, okay? You're making a zero chance, okay? Let's see. Please give me at least 150 mastery, though, okay? I don't think you'll give it to me, okay? There you go. <laughs> you're literally dead, okay? And let's see. Please give me, like, 130. Okay, you always give me, like, 130, okay? Come on, just give me a little bit more, like, a little bit. Come on. 120, 130, 130. Oh? Oh, 142, okay. Okay, one more, like, a few more NPCs, I think. And we'll have this. Wait, how much does this give? Okay, two mastery. Okay, we can just literally finish it off with this. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Taste some of this dark plate. There you go. Bro, it feels so weird using this sword. I'm not even joking, okay? And the last one. Give me your mastery, buddy. And new skill available. So we unlock the first ability. And now we're gonna try it out. Let's see what it does, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Let me show Star this. Let me show Star. Yo, Star, look at this, okay? <laughs> Yo! Bro, I swear, this looks so weird, okay? Why is it so, like, I don't know what, I don't know. What did you do? Like, yeah, I'm not really sure what I did, but I, uh, I, I guess I upgraded the sword. Okay, this is Dark Blade V5. <laughs> you can say so. <laughs> anyway, let's go and test the damage, okay? Because I unlocked a new ability, okay? So we need to test it out. All right, so the ability is called Proficient Impel. I don't know what that means, okay? I have no, I've never heard that words before, but let's go and check it out, okay? Three. Oh, okay. Three to one and go. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I like that one. Okay, 4k damage. Not that good. It's decent. It's decent. It was a fast move though. Okay, wait, wait. Does it have like a bit of range like this? It does. And I like push him all the way back. Wait, I like this one. What the heck? Imagine you're like fighting and stuff and you do this. Boom. Oh, this has combo potential. I do like this. Can I go in the sky and then do like this? Like from the sky? That would be crazy, right? Oh, I can. Oh, that is insane. Now, guys, I hear the Z-move has a observation break move. So, Star, go ahead and turn your observation on, okay? Done. Okay, there you go. Let's see. So, apparently... Boom, it breaks observation instantly, okay? And now I can just slash him up even though he has observation on. I mean, it's broken, okay? So you can't even use it. And guys, that is really overpowered because if you guys don't know, in PvP, observation break moves are really good, okay? Once you get observation off your enemy, then it's really like GG pretty much. Now, anyway, let's see how much damage it does after gaining 180 mastery, okay? Let's see. 2.3k, okay, not a huge difference, but I guess 300 damage plus, that's not bad. But now, guys, it's time to unlock Shaming Slash, okay? And we need 300 mastery for that so you guys already know we're gonna fizz it okay and that is obviously a big mom okay so she has a very big sword okay wait 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 is my sword bigger wait wait let me do the glitch all right there you go the glitch is done let's see it's my wait wait what her sword is literally bigger wait no way i did a glitch and he what? Okay, big mom, you're gonna pay, okay? I know you have a bigger sword, but I'm gonna literally destroy you, okay? Take some of this, buddy, yeah. Take some of this, yeah. 
Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm dying. I'm dying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Okay. Yo, bro. She's not missing anything. Like, what? Hey. Mom, slash you up like that. Boom. Hey. Go there. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Chill. Okay. Chill. I'm literally dying. Bro, I need to dodge something. Okay. There you go. I dodged it. Now, boom. All right, Kate Queen. You're about to die. Okay. There you go. A few more slashes. Boom. Come on. Oh, you didn't die? Okay, there you go. Die. And now, let's see. 180 mastery. We got up to 209, okay? So now we need, like, 90 more mastery, and we can get the last move, okay? All right, K-Queen. Go ahead and die once again. There you go. And we got up to 263, okay? We need a bit more kills than that. Guys, look at this, okay? The Dark Daggers versus the Curse Duo. What the heck? Like, mine is so much different, okay? I mean, mine is, like... Bro, my length is, like... Like, then, like, what is this? It's the same as, like, Big Mom's sword. Look at that. It really is the smallest sword, huh? And go ahead and die again. And we're at 289, okay? I really like the ability, actually. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Look at the Z ability, okay? Like, imagine Big Mom is after you and you're almost dying. Well, you can just smash her up to the wall, okay? Yeah, she can't do anything, okay? And I imagine in PvP, it's gonna be even better, okay? And is this gonna be the last kill? Please be the last kill. Please, please. Come on die 200 oh perfect 300 exactly new skill available so we unlocked shaming slash i don't know what that's supposed to mean but we're gonna test it out okay but guys after this we're not done yet okay because we need to upgrade this sword okay there's still an upgrade anyway let's go and test the damage okay let's see three two one oh my god what the hell was that all right guys we're gonna test the x ability when starts an arrow okay so it's an arrow let's see oh my Wow, 4.7k or 4.6k, I mean, that is insane. Wait, this has huge combo potential. What if I can, like, combo these together? Maybe? Wait. So I sneak behind him and I slash him this way. So what if I do this and then do this? Oh my god, 9k? What the heck? He couldn't even move, I'm pretty sure. So this combo is actually insane. What? Wait, I actually do like this Dark Blade. What? I mean, the Dark Dagger, I should say. My HP, what? Yeah, you're very low already. I mean, it's not the best damage, but it's an insane combo. Look at this. He has, like, um, I mean, quite a lot of HP, okay? Okay, he turned on hockey. Let's see, okay? So we do this. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you can't escape that combo, okay? That is insane. Dude, I love the Dark Blade, but there's only one more thing we need to do, okay? We need to upgrade our sword, okay? Now, how much is this gonna cost, okay? Let's see. It got... No. You need a Dark Fragment for this? What? Bro, don't tell me. That's like... That's like impossible to get. Like, why block shoots, bro? That is insane. That is literally a Fist of Darkness, okay? I need to get a Fist of Darkness. So, I, I gotta get lucky with CBs. I will try it, but I mean, I'll probably not get it, okay? Eight of these? Ugh, stones? Bro, how do I even get these again? I'm pretty sure Hydra, right? Yeah, and then we have enough scrap. And then I get 10% extra damage. Oh, this is gonna take a while to get. But guys, I wanna show you guys one more thing. Star is gonna have Observation on, and I'm gonna use Axe, okay? Which is not a Observation break move. And then we're gonna see how it looks like, okay? So, let's see. That looks insane! I love that ability. What the heck? It actually looks sick, okay? It's amazing. Wait, wait, let me try it again. Like, it's a whole portal that you spawn or something. That, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. We have mastery 300. Let's see how much damage we do now, okay? Let's see. 2.4k. So, it hasn't been, like, upgraded that much. We still need to get a 10% increase. So, yeah. Let's go and try to get these materials. All right, guys. These people give the green stones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Dragon Kree Warriors. And these are pretty hard to get. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes or something. Alright guys, it's been a minute. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Okay, yeah, 10 out of 8. And now, only thing we need is getting this Dark Fragment. Which, the only way I can do it is... Two choices getting the Dark Fragment, okay? Hopping servers and collecting chests in the second C. Or going to my private server and just hunting sea beasts up on sea beasts until I get one. And then defeat Darkbeard to get the Dark Fragment and upgrade it, okay? I'm gonna try fighting sea beasts first, okay? Let's see how this goes. Oh, the sea beasts is getting me. The sea beasts is getting me. Oh, come on. Bro, this guy, this guy, this guy caught me off guard. This guy caught me off guard. Bro, bro, I'm 1 HP. What is happening? Come on. Bro, what is... Why is he so strong? Bro, what the heck? Take some of this, take some of that. Bro, I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. What? What the... Bro, come on. Oh. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. But there is no drop, really. Okay. Get this. A fruit has spawned. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see. Oh. It's a spider fruit. Oh, look at this thing. Let's go. A legendary fruit. Let's store that one right here. Boom. There you go. How much spider fruits do I have? I have a lot of them. Seven. Okay, whoa. Anyway, back to grinding CBs. 
There's another day that we're gonna get another sword because as you know, we're on a journey to become the best block shoots player there's ever been, okay? And uh, we've accomplished one of the goals that we have to do, which is get all the fruits, all right? We have all the fruits pretty much awakened and everything is mastered up. The fruits that we will need, obviously. But right now, we're grinding up the swords. And as you guys can see, in my hand right now, you guys can see a midnight blade. And if you haven't seen the last video, you should probably watch it, all right? It's a midnight blade that can spawn portals, all right? Look at this, all right? You can literally spawn portals. And it's a pretty cool sword, all right? A lot of people say it's pretty underrated, which is kind of true, to be honest, because you can literally spawn portals like this. Yeah, you can suck someone in a portal. Does 4,000 damage, not even bad. And you can teleport like this. It's really good, actually. I really like it. But in today's video, we're mastering another sword. This sword is not very popular because it's none of the top tier swords, but it is very high level requirement, okay? You only get this sword if you're level 1950. And obviously, the sword that I'm talking about is the Cavender Sword, right? The Cavender Sword is a sword that you can get a drop from the... Let me check. Turtle Entrance? Was that it? Or Center, I mean? There you go. A beautiful pirate domain, as you can see. And there is a boss that spawns here that drops this sword. So this drop is only 5%. So if you want to kill this boss like 10 times, you only will have a, like a 50% chance of getting it. Maybe if you have this game pass right here, two times drop chance, you'll probably get it within 10 tries, like 100%. But if you're unlucky, this might take a while since the boss is not really that easy to defeat. But in today's video, we'll see if it's even worth it, right? So I'll show you guys this sword and see if it's even worth the grind. And maybe you guys are asking yourself, should I even get this sword? Is it even worth the grind? Oh, well, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what this sword does and if it's even worth getting, all right? And guys, luckily, I do have this sword, all right? So if I go over here, as you guys can see, the Canfender, okay? This is a weird sword. Yo, Star, look at this, all right? Look at this, look at this. Um, I don't know what sword this is, but look at my hand. The way I'm holding the sword is super high class. Like, wh what is this? Like, I, I have one hand behind my back and I'm like fighting with one arm. Like, what's going on? It's like I'm sword fighting, right? Like the, you guys know these sword fighting things? Things, like the sport thing. I, I'm not really sure how that's called, to be honest, with the weird helmets. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But yeah, that's that's kind of my... Oh, what the heck? Bro, what? So two slashes only and I'm like being knocked back? What? Wait, what is that effect? Look at this. It's such a cool effect. But guys, before we start mastering or even testing the damage, let's go and roll a fruit, right? Maybe today is a lucky day, right? So hey, start roll fruits. Let's see. Today maybe is the day that we roll a mythical. Come on. Oh... Oh, yo, hey, that's a hey, my fruit now. What is this, bro? Oh my god, bro. I've never wait, what's fake? No way, bro. Look at this, man. What look at this? I am dropping it. Yo, wait, I have never rolled a control fruit in my life. What is this? Look at this. I I'm literally dropping it. It's literally mine, bro. All right, guys, that was one of the luckiest rolls. Oh my god, like other than rolling dough fruit on my dough fruit video, I mean, this is one of the luckiest rolls ever. Okay, let's go and store that real quick. There you go go and now we have two of those okay i already have two i pretty much have every single mythical fruit what the heck all right anyway let's go and test the damage on this thing okay i, I want to see how good it is and i've been wrong all this time guys in my last video i said the warrior helmet did give like more damage toward but I didn't know what I was talking about, okay? The Pal Scarf actually does 15% more block shoot damage and sword damage, which I actually didn't know. For a time, I thought this was only block shoot damage, but it was also swords. So we're gonna test it out right now, okay? In 3, 2, 1, let's see. 2.5k on base damage? Wait a minute. That's pretty good, actually. And without hockey on, it's 2.1k. So it's a huge difference without hockey and with hockey. Now, guys, I want to get the max potential of this sword. Since it's already big damage, we need to upgrade this sword, okay? And the only way to upgrade a sword is to get materials and upgrade it. And as you can see on the wiki right now, we can see that we need 6 of these gems and 20 of the leather to get 10% extra damage, which will boost a lot. All right, so all we got to do is just check up. Let's see. Uh, let's go all the way down. Um... Okay, we got the leather, and where's these green things? Is that it? Oh, uh, no. Okay, that's it. Okay, we got 11. So, perfect. We got enough. Now, wait a minute. Where is a blacksmith in the third sea again? I'm pretty sure it was... Port Town, maybe? Was it? Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, we got a blacksmith right over here. Okay, so let's go and see if we can upgrade this. And yes, we can upgrade the sword. Okay, Cavender Legendary Sword. Okay, so let's go and upgrade it for 10% extra damage. Okay, that'll give us a lot more boost. What if I try it on this NPC right here? Let's see. 
Oh my god, 2.8k damage without even setting one more mastery on the sword. We already have 2.8k damage. That's pretty good. All right, anyway, let's go and get started with mastering this Canvander sword, I guess. Okay, let's go. Let's see what the true damage is gonna be, all right? Come here. Oh, the effects are pretty cool on this. Wait a minute, do you guys see the effects? Anyway, Longma, you're literally dead, all right? Take some of this. There you go. Take some of that. He's already trapped in a corner, bro. Can he even get out? Where is he? Um, wait. Did he glitch out or something? Where did he go? Wait a minute, he, we lost him. I think he escaped. Now wait, we can't even see him with hockey because this boss is anti-hockey. And where is this guy? Is he maybe behind the wall? Oh, bruh, you glitched behind the wall? What is you doing here? And he healed all the way up, bruh. This boss is so annoying, bro. Okay, take some of this, buddy. All right, is he almost dead? Let's see. All right, he's almost dead. Come on, let me do the last. Bruh, 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 no, 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 okay. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm super low. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to finish him. There you go. Let's go. Okay. How much mastery will that give us, though? Please give me enough for the first one. Uh, that's 150 mastery. I don't know if we'll get that much. Maybe we'll get 130. Let's see. One th oh, 140? Oh, we got 140. So 10 more mastery. Where can I get a quick 10 mastery? Hold on. But oh, these pirates give a decent amount of mastery. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is super annoying farming with the sword. You guys see how I'm, like, knockbacking forward? Like, dashing forward every single two slices? Like, yeah, that's very... Very annoying. Anyway, new skill available. All right, we unlocked piercing dash. Let's go and see what this does, all right? Hey, yo, Star, what are you do- Oh, wait, a block should have spawned? Okay, we should get that after, but what is that? It's, it's like you're about to kick someone or something. What the heck? Anyway, all right, let's go and test this ability right here, and okay, we got a cool pose. Three, two, one, and slash. Oh my- Wait, 4.5k damage? What? What is that? Wait, that looked a little long distance. Let's go and try it from here. Let's see. That looks insane. And it does a lot of damage. Like, look at that damage, okay? that Yeah, that's pretty good, all right? But now, I want to show you guys a glitch, all right? As you can see, the fruit is 100 meters away. There's actually a special glitch that you can use, all right? Now, if you get yourself an auto-clicker and literally auto-click with the sword, look what will happen, all right? 3, 2, 1, and look at this, all right? It's a free speed glitch, all right? If you're lagging, it's literally a free speed glitch. Look at this. Sometimes it's not really going, but yeah, you can actually, like, go really far with this. Where's this fruit, okay? I'm not even using my movement, okay? Where's this fruit? I already know where it is. I already know where it is. It's right over here. Let's see. Is it anything good? It is literally doo doo. Okay, it's doo doo. Okay, it's spike fruit. Yeah, you can have this spike fruit. Okay, I don't. I don't need that. Okay, look at this. You can have that. Look at their swords. Uh, ooh, this guy. Let's see. It's the pirate. Is that the same sword? Are they using the same sword? Wait a minute. So let's go and see this one. Oh, it's the exact same sword that I'm using. Wait, I didn't know that. You know what I do know, though? If I go to my fruits, this will be actually surprise a lot of you guys, okay? If we go over to the love fruit, and if we go ahead and spawn in the besto friendo. Look at this, guys. We spawn in. Oh, wait. That's the wrong ability, okay? Besto friendo. There you go. Let's see, where's Best of Friendo at? There you go, that's my friend. And there you go, as you can see, he uses the exact same sword, all right? My Best of Friendo, right? That's why this Best of Friendo is so good. He literally uses the same sword. Yo, he's copying you, no, I don't I don't think so. I don't think if I, like, enable Dark Blade, he's gonna have Dark Blade, right? Wait, should we try that out? Okay, so I just equipped, um, whatever this is, the Midnight Blade. Let's try it again. Let's see, where's this guy? Bro, he's running. No, that's not the Midnight Blade. Yeah, that's definitely fake. But that's actually pretty cool. All right, but now, guys, my Best of Friendo and I are ready to take on some more bosses because we need to get this scattering gust which is 300 mastery all right it's actually a little bit less than midnight blades so this should be a little bit easier right, you guys already know where we're going okay we're going to big mom over here and we're gonna show her some skills all right take my piercing dash right over here okay take it okay this is gonna be impossible what the heck okay wait, wait, wait. i need to equip buddha God, buddha i'm gonna be the dead skeleton over here okay let's see come on there you go bro the dash in front is so annoying like the people that have dark blade know the third slash is also annoying but this is every single two slash so it's even more annoying. I'm taking free hits without like even knowing, right? Because like I'm dashing towards the boss, which is super annoying. I should probably just lash other with the sword, okay? There's no point in getting the sword out. All right, Big Mom, you're dying within seconds, right? I hope there's gonna be a better boss because Big Mom is literally no challenge for me, all right? It's literally no challenge. So there you go, one HP. Hey, let's reload that. There you go, come on. Is that enough? Hey, let's go. Let's see. 150 mastery. How much can we get, though? We got up to 188. Okay, that's gonna take a little bit more big moms than I thought. Hi, right, big mom. It's time to die. There you go. 180. Wait, I'm like, bro, what? I'm lagging so hard. I've never seen that, actually. What the heck? That was so weird. Now go ahead and die again. There you go. All right, come here, big mom. It's over. Okay, there you go. Another one. 233 to 50. That's good. All right, next, please. Hey, queen, any last words? Because you're dead. 
the oh no that didn't kill you what the heck okay there you go finally you're dead okay there you go 266 so a bit more bosses we'll finally have it all right oh wait a minute guys the pirates are raiding the castle so i guess we should actually take a visit on the sea castle because i do want some free fruits all right what if we can get two mythical fruits in one video i mean that would be insane no so come here pirates let me kill you all you stand no chance these pirates raids are super easy always why do they always even try you know where's the tanky unit i need you dead Ooh, i found him there you go the tanky unit oh he's already one hp but one ability that should fix it off come on hey there you go and we got a bomb fruit okay yeah yeah it's, it's literally no chance to getting two mythical fruits in one video okay literally no chance all right k queen literally die come on Oh, that wasn't enough. What? Bro, I can't even see the HP bar. It's glitching to zero. One hit. It's literally one hit. Okay, there we go. 295. Okay, so five mastery off. And we're unlocking the last ability. So I think a little bit of ice cream chaps will do it, all right? But this is what I'm saying. Like, it's super annoying. Like, even if I'm trying to fight NPCs... Bro, look at this. I'm getting knocked back and I'm taking damage for no reason. So I don't think it's really good for grinding, okay? This might be the worst sword for grinding. Not even joking. But maybe the last ability will pay off, all right? For PvP. So far, this one is super good, okay? This one. Boom. Yeah, that one is actually super sick. All right, this should be the last NPC we're killing, okay? So there you go. Boom. And new skill available, finally. We unlocked the Scattering Goss. Now let's see what the true potential of the sword really is, okay? The first ability was really good. But let's see what the second one is, all right? All right, let's go to the mansion and let's see. Star, are you here? Are you here? Wait, is he not... Oh, he's gone. He told me that he has to sleep or something, so I guess he went to sleep. So now we can really test the last ability on someone. Anyway, I guess we can test it on the spider or something, yeah. Let's see what it does, all right? Let's see. Three, two, one, and... Okay, a little cool pose, and... Go. Oh my... Wait, what? 5.5k damage for a singular ability? That is pretty insane, actually. Wait, so what if I combine both my abilities? These look actually pretty insane. Normal slashing is not gonna cut it. But if I combine both of these abilities on an NPC like this, boom, boom, 10.3k damage combo. What the heck? In like literally one second. Okay, this sword is insane damage-wise. But what if I can do it through here? Come on. Oh. Wait, it slashes? What the heck? Wait, I just realized. It is slashes that I'm sending. So what if I send them from here? Oh my, 6k damage and then 11k almost. That is insane. And then if you want to slash it up, uh, yeah, that is kind of annoying. Because you like jump forward every two slashes. But that is insane. And guys, if you guys want to see the effects, I did the Buddha glitch. And you guys can see it from here good, all right? Take a look at this, all right? Look at those effects. It is sick, okay? Yeah, these effects are definitely up there, okay? What other sword has pretty cool effects like these? I mean, not many, to be honest. Make sure to go down below in this video, like the video, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys.